to the impromptu like toy news toy talk sh- uh, sh- episode uh, where we have the interview with uh, animals warrior kingdom tomorrow we figured like hey let's do a little bit of toy news because there's a lot dropped this week <laughs> so oh yeah uh, definitely want to touch on that they space that a little bit and Be right back hmm? and uh, whipping that we got Quinn comics uh, commandon and Hulk smash Yes, how you doing? We were them playing the the four square squares right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the that was so much toy stuff dropped this week. I figured like we got to talk about some toys. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, one of the things I was really excited about. We'll, we'll talk here shortly, but I also got. Some- I got Spout from Masterverse. So cool. He's got light piping, which they don't do that much anymore. He's got the translucent piece on the back of the back of the head. Yeah. And <clears throat> it's the light just right. It's like he's got LEDs in his eyes. Oh wow. I thought that that I thought that's what it was. Yeah, it's just that's just the uh there's like a they don't do this like much they used to do this with transformers a lot but they don't do it that often anymore yeah but it's yeah. it's the eyes all one piece connected so you get this really cool light up effect for the eyes oh we got some guys coming in we got sector 2813 Union fellas i pre-ordered masterverse uh, skeletor bone throne and i did too <laughs> box of cannons evening uh kung fu uh, oh uh, even now, uh, Ohio fellows. Hello, hello. Name of Held. But yeah, this thing, I got to edit my review. I just shot a review on this thing, but it's nice. He's big, too. And it's, why is the background music so loud tonight? Is it loud for you? No. I, I, got, down to, I got down to 11, but it's really loud. <laughs> Um, Box Cannon's talking about, I remember the light piper from the Jawas. Yeah, they, yeah, that's something that's getting to be like a lost art. It's like people don't hardly do anymore. I hope that I'd like to see it come back more. When you put it on a shelf with a lot of lights, it's just wow. The, I think this is the first Masterverse figure to have drop down hips, too, like a G.I. Joe classified. And he Are is they? bigger than a normal, normal Masterverse figure. You know what they they're improving, eh? Like mm-hmm. uh that skeletor, yeah. that new skeletor looks really good. And the bicep yeah. sculpts on this one is so much better. The the, yeah. the double jointed it doesn't have as much range as the double jointed elbows, yeah. but I don't know. I will sacrifice the double jointed if I can get a sculpt that looks right. <laughs> they, they cut they cut too much out of the bicep for for yeah. the bend. And, and it, it makes, makes the bicep look very awkward. Yeah. yeah. It's like he's in a constant flex. It, it only looks right if you have the arm like this. Yeah. And which um, I don't know if everybody's seen seen the review. But I got the did get the Matabor, uh the Hulk and Wolverine two pack or patch mm-hmm. to fix it. I shot a review which you uh, YouTube will not share. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but this is a great set. I know the articulation is not the best on the Hulk, and uh, the, the you get the ab crunch hindered on Wolverine, but I think Wolverine's an all new sculpt. Yeah, but you know what though, you got to understand if you got a jacket like that, especially if it's an overlay like that, you, you can't expect to use that crunch or that. Oh yeah, it, or it's, if it's a whether it's an ab crunch or even a. a a a like, it's not going to work that that well. And I think, I think it's actually a diaphragm on this Wolverine. Yeah, it's a it's a diaphragm, but yeah. it just it just won't work with lift the with the jacket. But it still looks great. Yeah, if you guys didn't check out the review yet, like I still haven't believe it or not, I still haven't ordered that Hulk, but. 
you're going to want to order it after you watch the review. But, yeah, these things... Uh, the, the weird thing is that though he comes with the gun holding hand, but they don't give him the gun. And I'm sorry, for the price of these packs, he should have at least included a gun. Yeah, this is a $60 pack. Give yeah. him this freaking Thompson. <laughs> I know. I did, I, I did leave it in the, the gun in his hand overnight and had it like a like bent up like this and i did get some paint on my white jacket so uh from the uh yeah, from the, the wind, wind from the stock well i was able to basically just rub it off with my finger mostly and i can see a little bit of it. it's, it's got to be cleaned up a little bit though <laughs> that's that's one thing i mentioned in the reviews like it's white so you gotta be a little be real careful with that thing yeah it's a flat yeah. white too not a gloss white. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also got Jack o' Lantern, which is looks freaking awesome. It looks so much better in person than uh, than the pictures made it out to be. I thought it looked good on the pictures, but in hand, it's nicer than that. That is the same jack o' lantern that we got with the broomstick. Uh, is that the same character? I think it's the same character, but I'm, I'm not positive. Wasn't that other one on the. I know I got it here, right? It's it, it was a jack o' lantern. It was, a, it was on a horrible body. It was on the pizza spider body, right? No. No? It, it was on. It was like this really weird body with. I think he even had ball joint hips. I got it here somewhere. I can't. Trying to and see. Got Scarlet Spider. Nice. And this is so nice. It's on the Renew Your Vows two packs uh, Spider Man body. It looks very good. And yeah, actually, three sets of hands and two sets of whip hands. And instead of like cheaping out like they do a lot, they, they'll do one whip hand, one crawling hand, one fist. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing Spider Man because they complain it cost a lot to paint Spider Man's hands. Yeah. <laughs> Where they didn't have to paint his hands, they didn't have to worry about that. I have that thing. I got it just the other day. It took forever for it to get here, but I, while I really love it, the drop down hips on it annoy the crap out of me. That's it. I got Metalhead from Jitro Classified. I haven't opened, of course, I haven't opened up yet. Is uh, people were talking about you can't put the missiles inside the actual missile launchers. You only can only, only install them with the being launched mode with the uh, launch effects. Which oh, is, really? Which is weird. Why would you decide it where you can't put the like load them up like in neutral position? So he's always shooting his rockets off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's hilarious that the uh, the hair the mullet is interchangeable. You got two mullets, one with sunglasses, one without sun, or the with the visor. What the heck? I'm looking at, I'm looking at the the actual picture right right down here with the goggles on. He looks like Manny Pacquiao. Hey, it does. Heck, I could use this. I could use this for my uh, uh, Rafferty. <laughs> Uh, they just they just re revealed a couple more Joes, right? Uh, this week. Uh, in, in name only, I, I think they did a couple drops. Okay, no, that's not it. They, they just I saw a picture. Uh, and I can't remember. Can't remember. Are they releasing another tunnel rat? Yes, a a night like a was it night brigade or something like that? Okay, he. Is, oh, that's nice. We got the Cobra Techno Viper. I got one, one of these from, I guess this is an order for, I got from uh, Ezra Pulse. Yeah. Ordered a couple more from uh, the Chosen Prime. This is a, another troop builder, which is why the Cobras end up so outnumbering my Joes and the Shells, because they got so many troop builders. Customs. No. Um, I, I was saying about that figure that I can't, I can't remember if it's a uh, Tumble Rat or not. Um, 
he looks like Falcon. He's got the same uh, that that kind of Mac uh, puppet uh, look to him. Hmm. And I agree. It's not about none of the Masterverse figures really should be exclusives, but at least with the Masterverse figures, they they're easy to get. Mm -hmm. When Origins are the Mattel Creations exclusives, those sell out like crazy. They sell out fast. And yes, they do. But the Masterverse ones, I think you can still order Snout Spout. But but any Origins that go up on Mattel Creations, gone. Like it was, it's like back in the days of the Matty Collector days. Like if they don't last, man. Back then, you know, He Man and Skeletor sold out in just a couple minutes. It was insane. Yep. If and you didn't have world. a subscription, you weren't and getting that, it. That uh, online uh, <laughs> retailer, the vent, uh, the website thing they used uh, was it Digital River. Digital River. They're, they could not handle the traffic. Their sites would crash if you get more than 10 people on the site. They didn't know what the hell they were doing back then. They still don't. Yeah. Uh, what's going says is uh, Angel is stuck in transit in St. Paul. Uh, I haven't even got a shipping notice on my Angel yet. So it, uh, I was supposed to get my Saber 2 set in the day, and it says it's coming today. They haven't even shipped it yet, so I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> Metalhead has always had the goggles on the cartoons. Like, see, I never watched uh, the season two. Was it when the Deke took over the series? I never watched anything. And then I started watching it, trying to watch it as an adult. It's like, this is terrible. It's not like Real American. The Sunbow was so much better. And I got a few more. I got Big Boa. It's my nice. first word to duke it out with. That's their new nipple edition. <laughs> they made a big deal about it. He's got nipples now. <laughs> I think it was more like season three. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I didn't look in time. Who's got nipples? Uh, hey, big Bowler. Is that uh... G.I. Joe? Oh, okay. The boxer guy? Yep. Oh, they even, well, they even painted on Big Boa. <laughs> Demonetize. <laughs> Quick kick. Another shirtless man. Sir, yeah, Joe, can you not afford to give this man? Look at, look at the back of the artwork. He's in the frozen tundra, barefooted, with no shirt on. It's like, get this man some shoes and a shirt. <laughs> I always laughed at that. I don't think he'd be walking around like with sho shoeless the whole time. Yeah. Give him, give him a pair of those easy slip on uh, shoes that he could just kick off before he gets into a scrap. Give him some Crocs. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what somebody needs to do is three D print some Crocs for the oh, quick no. kick. <laughs> Make them yellow or orange or something. Yeah. And we got Airborne, which looks great. And uh, I got one more I got today. I haven't even opened the box yet. We didn't get busy. What's in the box? Any guesses what I got today? Maybe it's the guy I'm talking about. Probably saw a glimpse of it right then. Yeah. I got oh, wow. Rims and Dynamo. Oh, Don. I decided not to cut mine up. I'm just going to leave him. I think he it works. I think uh, he stands about... Half a head shorter than the Dynamo, or it's Dynamo, than Titanium. Man. I, I don't want to run the risk of damaging it. Nah. I got, uh, I got to get two of those big boas. One for custom, 
Sweet. Now, uh, Ryu does, but he didn't uh, did wear a coat and boots in cold weather. See, you gotta have. And what's what's it's hilarious that they got one a picture on the back of the box. He's standing in the on ice, on <laughs> bare feet. Folks, man, in Canada, and, and he don't do that. <laughs> it, it's mind over matter. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you won't see me doing that up here. There it is. You know I, was, <laughs> I was missing the hand hand on like the, the little spot there, but it's 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 back in here. <laughs> I was gonna say a lot of people are gonna try to customize that to make it fit in with Marvel Legends. You know, Marvel Legends is gonna make one of those. Especially Probably now that Marvel Select made it. I wish Marvel Select could make a Sasquatch. Yeah, I I was I was tired of waiting. And not do what they did with uh, Thanos. That last Thanos they made is Mar is smaller than the Marvel Legends figure. And watch if they do make Sasquatch, he's going to be the same size as Marvel Legends. Probably. Nope. I'm, I wasn't playing around with that guy. And for one of the things that really got me excited to I saw today. Brilliant. Masterpiece Power Master Optimus Prime from Takara or Jinrai from Master Force. Mm -hmm. And uh, Power Master Optimus Prime is one of my favorite Optimus Prime figures. And I know he was technically in Japan. He was was an Optimus Prime. He was Jinrai. And the, the transector body that Jinrai is using was actually built for Optimus, but Optimus died before they could they could put Optimus into the new body. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Now it's a it's a blurry like fifty six k back in the nineties picture when early late nineties when we got internet. What is that? <laughs> Damn the ooh, that's awesome. But this is how leaked pictures usually end up. And they're blurry. Probably in a week or two, we'll get the official announcement. We'll get to see the the really cool like high def pictures of it. But right now, right now they're just showing the base robot and not the trailer, which. I'm cool with that. They do with that uh, in two pieces. I may even skip the trailer because I like this. Did you see this, Glenn? What What is that figure that it comes with? Is that a human figure or that another? Is Power Master uh, uh, in Japan. It was Jinrai in America. It was High Q. And where this is a Takara piece, I'm sure this is Jinrai. That uh, That Optimus looks really poseable, man. Yeah. I'm looking forward Very to this. Nice. Our Master Prime is one of my favorites. So, definitely digging that. I'm, uh, when I saw that, it's like, I want to talk about this. This is awesome. I love Transformers. <laughs> Matt's not here, so I can talk about Transformers more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I blame I blame Jared because he got me started on these damn things. So you almost <laughs> They're like potato chips. Like you can't like, it. He's pointing to you, Jared. It's, like, it's all your fault, man. It's all your fault. Yeah. But yeah, these are really nice. And uh, we get this box set reveals. Like, this is what kills me. Like, this box set, I already have Tarn. This is Transformers Prime figure. And this is a recolor of a tran uh, tarantulas. Yeah. I only want Squeeze. Squeeze play. That, that's and, how we get you. and I already have Tarn. I don't need it. Need Tarn again. But if you wait long enough, they'll reissue Squeeze slightly altered colors. They'll re release them. Yeah. But yeah, it, they always do that. One, one, one new figure and then a bunch of re releases. So, but this, is a nice, this is a nice little touch, too. But you can't really see in this picture here. His gun is actually browning, like a unreleased Japanese-only transformer, which was a uh, pistol like a Megatron. Mm -hmm. But it's a non-transformer, of course. But it is made to look like browning. Huh. 
He's like, he's a, he's so that's one of the cons, is he? No, he's not one of the cons. He's the, one of the smaller headmasters from G, uh, G1. Okay. But what kills me is like the they did this too with the uh, the deluxe Insecticons. If no, if you didn't get that box set that had Gold Bug in it, mm -hmm. that was Target exclusive. It had one of the deluxe Insecticons in it, which I got it. I, I got it on sale because I wanted the Gold Bug. Which but when I got it, it's like, I, why did they just want to give us one Insecticon? They could have given others, but now we're doing a box set on its Amazon exclusive yep. Insecticons, yep. and then they I think. There's the single release get the Venom is the last one. Is it a Venom and Chop Shop, right? Uh, the, the two pack from Amazon. It's Venom and it. Chop Shop, isn't it? I got, I got pulled up here in a second. We'll... I know one's green and one's brown. So one's a one's a beetle and the other one I forgot what the hell it is. We got some DNA upgrade kits for Transformers coming out. Not. These are for the Movieverse figures. Oh, nice. You know, I like Wheeljack. They should not have put him as a Volkswagen van. I'm like, come on. Oh, no. And then they made, they put, you know, stupid. I mean, I wear glasses, but that made him look stupid. You know, I'm like, yeah. Oh, just, he's, a, he's a nerd. He, that must mean he must wear glasses. They should have given him the, you know, the some, something on the side that lights up when he talks. Something. I mean, because his face is so look, distinct. I'm, they did such a good job on, like, a lot of them, like, Make them look like how they're supposed to look. Yeah. But then they make a. Uh, little deck look nothing like the character. Mirage, man, what a missed opportunity. That should yeah. be jazz. I'm not. I I know that they couldn't put a Formula One racer out on the street, but they could have given us something similar to it. But yeah, they basically put Mirage in Jazz's outfit or you uh, uh car mode, and I'm just like, no. Didn't didn't work for me. Which they could have used some kind of like, well, this well, this is based in like the eighties or nineties. Yeah, they could have done some sort of a souped up race car or street legal looking race car of some sort. I mean, but, oh. oh well, it is what it is. We got some in hand pictures. This is a Target exclusive. We get I'm the. I'm so tired of seeing that mold, man. It's the uh, I like Laser Optimus Prime. Yep, but it. This would have been seemingly would have made more sense when they did that uh, that Freightliner one they did yeah, recently. That, that's Boombox Optimus Prime. Let's get it straight, you know. <laughs> and we get a Target box truck. <laughs> trailer. I mean, that, that looks kind of cool, but we've seen, they re released this Laser Optimus, or I call it Laser Optimus Prime, what three or four times recently in the past couple years. Let's see. We had the original Laser Optimus Prime, mm -hmm. a, uh, the Scourge, mm -hmm. Laser Pro Optimus Prime reissue, and then this one, Toxitron. Okay, there you go. I forgot about that one. Uh, this one. So yeah. five yeah. times. So I'm, I'm like, come on, man. You know, they, give us something else. They could have done this with yeah. regular the the regular flat nosed Optimus Prime. I well, they, they, they got this uh, really nice Freightliner they've only used one time, which when I first mm -hmm. see all the thumbnails of this in truck mode, it's like, oh, they're going to reuse that. They'd be a good use for it. No, yeah. they give it a Target exclusive. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it can be, it can stay a Target exclusive. Now this, no. this I saw earlier today. I'm like, all right, they they got me on this one. Uh, it looks good. In about mode. one or four. Oh, no, no. I, I'm just going to... I need one only. That's it. Because, let's face it, Donatello is the best turtle. I'm sorry. Hands down. Because he makes all the cool stuff. So, the fact that you can switch out the head pieces and, and make it any turtle you want, and it comes with all the weapons, home run for me. At least they're not forcing you to buy four. You can buy four if you want. Yep. So, that, I, I love that they give you that option. So, all I really need is one myself. Oh, yeah. You, but, you can yeah, say, too, like, whichever the bandana is. is it's a, it's a head cap that'll snap on there. You can say it's a mech, and it's a driver. He's the only one he's... Yep. Uh, whoever's controlling it is when it's, it's, it's Donnie driving. Yeah, it's a there you go. Driving. Yeah. It's, I don't know if that's I the canyon. It, looks good. it doesn't look bad in robot mode. looks really good in vehicle mode. Oh, yeah. yeah yep. that, that, it's clever. It's like doing that. It is. It's very smart. At least they're not forcing you to buy four different ones. 
if you just want that one and you and you can have any different turtle you want you can use your imagination and play with one at a time you know if you're a kid. Todd, what can you imagine? The two packs, the three oh, packs? No, no, no. This is Todd McFarlane. You buy, you buy all these. Oh, hold on just a second. Let me answer this. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to back to my impression. <laughs> what do you but, mean? Yeah, you I'm, 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 I'm going to definitely gonna have to get one of these. I don't have any of the crossover figures yet because I, I missed out on the first one. And it sold out so fast. And, and they did some reissues on it. I'm kind of like, man, eh, I don't really need it. But we'll, we'll, we'll see if Quinn's paying attention, but Leo's the best turtle. <laughs> That's it. Definitely want one of these. Uh, that's the power of you buy all these turtles right now. You buy them. Buy, uh, buy them. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a sexy spawn car, and it's going to transform into spawn, and it's going to come with a small figure of me. You're going to love it. Uh, I'm going to glow in dark figures that don't glow in the dark. <laughs> and damn, glow in the dark. Uh, damn you, Rob Liefeld. <laughs> yeah, I got that glow in the dark parallax, and it's like, man, nah, I, I, I cave because it's glow in the dark. I love glow in the dark, and Wait, it, what, it don't what, even glow. What did you get? The glow in the dark parallax. Uh, Hal Jordan from is Amazon exclusive from Todd. Oh, it doesn't glow in the dark, huh? Very little. Well, you get what you pay for. Which? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we got. Uh, the Kung Fu Pope is like that that masterpiece you had, Jinra is very tempting. Give me back in the masterpiece. Dude, I know. It's like, every time, we got a thing for that. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> yeah. That's, that, I always tell people that's how they get you. They'll release oh, yeah. one that you, oh man, I love this one. And then six months later, they'll release another one with all the accessories and everything that you want and, and in a better paint color. And you're like, damn it, if they didn't get me again. I just hope when, if they do like Jin Rai, the cab only, mm -hmm. they release it that way. And if they do the trailer, don't do the trailer in the cab again where you... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which I can see them going. Same one re-released as a Walmart truck. Yeah. <laughs> And we got some pictures of. I'm digging these these comic books sell shading. You know, trailer. for for Shockwave, it looks good. Um, the the Grimlock, I like, but the colors, even though it's comic book colors, I'm just like ah, you know. Yeah, the, blue, the blues are a little garish. Yeah, yeah. If it was a little bit darker blue, it would be better. But you know, again, I'm not gonna knock it because it looks great. Just the colors are a little off for me. And um, that's, that is recreating that all are dead mm -hmm. but that, so the way the shading on the shockwave looks great i don't care about his vehicle mode because let's face it when did we ever see him in vehicle mode in any yeah. of the cartoons hey i can just turn it upside down you turn it turn upside down it's well, not be one stuff so yeah but yeah putting him in a, in a vehicle it's, i'm like okay like it looks like a vacuum cleaner well if you turn it upside down Oh, you got the you got some angry people from Hasbro attacking your stuff. It's General Thane. He took everybody out. That was Todd <laughs> McFarlane. Todd McFarlane was there. He was taking out all your toys. Which he's a oh. beefy figure. He's he's oh, man, dude. I want some of those new uh, Animal Kingdom guys. Jesus Christ, man, they they look so good. I want the rabbit. I want um. Boone, the fox. I want the gecko. I mean, the, I'm sorry, not the gecko. The uh, chameleon, Gresh. Mm -hmm. I think of his name, Gresh. And I want the uh, the lizard. I keep forgetting his name. Gort, 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 or whatever his name is. I'll write it down. Yeah, I, I got the two lizards one, uh, the uh, the blue skin and the red skin one. Mm -hmm. They they were so remind me of dinosaurs. Right, they do. <laughs> you know, especially but, the red one. The red one looks like Genghis Rex. I have, yeah, I have a couple of them. I have the white, um, I guess the. Oh, that's right. I did, I did get this too. I got this tiger. One. I got this one was Tiberius. I got him. Uh, I haven't opened him, but I got that Black Panther one, and then the one that looks just like him, but it's a, a white, uh, a white tiger. I guess. I guess or tiger, right? Yeah, white white tiger. I got those two open, 
and I love them. They're great figures. It's very durable, very sturdy. Uh, oh yeah, they're they're beat. Beat. He's he's a, weapons and hand. He's a big shelf dive, and he is fine. <laughs> a, ton of, a ton of weapons and hand accessory, hand options, I should say. Really good home run, man. I, oh, I, wish, I didn't. I don't think I've showed you this, Queen. He he took a dive, but uh, hmm. I just took him out. I took an extra Hercules I had. Uh -huh. I bought one of their gear sets. And, uh, oh, nice. And I decked out a Hercules in a that, Spirit that of Poison. That mace looks just like the, the small club that, that he has. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me? Hmm? And, oh, I did get to one other thing this week, too. I got the Lexian. From Spiro Toys. Nice. You know what? You know what? I'm still, I'm still stopping myself from buying. I really want it. I just uh, that Zezray Studio. You know the uh, the Minotaur, the two mm -hmm. Minotaur. They, they they got I guess the brown one and the black one. I want that black one really bad, but even the Rhino. But I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole either. Oh, it's it's easy to do. Now, this is the cool thing with Shockwave. It's kind of morbid. He actually comes with a severed head of Optimus Prime. <laughs> hey, they're following the storyline, right? Oh, yeah. It, Optimus wasn't dead. He was like basically on... Uh, he was just cut up, chopped up. But, you know, I, I had no idea that... That's story... always the... Yeah, it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was saying I had no idea about that storyline until you told me about it last week, uh, about this this one here, the uh, All Are Dead. I didn't know that the uh, Shockwave was such a badass. Oh yeah, in the comics, he was he he was able to kick all the Dinobots single handedly his asses, and he nearly killed Megatron. He, of course, it, he didn't kill Megatron, and that was a mistake. And Megatron betrayed him again. And in the comics, the Decepticons were always fighting for being a leader. Yeah. Like, well, you know the the TV the the cartoon the the, the animated. They made the they just made him look like he was like uh, uh, an information kind of guy. You know what I mean? Like he, he didn't do nothing in the, in the cartoon. Yeah, he was a yes man, the Megatron in the cartoon. Yeah, but definitely digging the turtle van, and we got some more pictures of the uh, the multi pack. It's like it just kills me. I don't what it wouldn't bother me as much if they didn't put Torn back in the same set. <laughs> what is the connective tissue for that set? Oh, the what the theme is? Yeah, where they would have Tarn and Tarantulas and it doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense. And yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> These are figures that you would want, so we're going to put them, but not Everybody would want these, so let's all put them together to make you have to buy them anyway. <laughs> it, it, at least it is looks like it's a repaint of Tarn. It's not straight up one to one. So, <clears throat> I cannot read that tiny felt deck from the screen over here. You know that legacy. Flip jumper, squeeze play, Tarn. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. And we got in hand pictures of the, of the tidal wave, which I have not pre ordered. I, I've missed out on getting Nemesis. I like to have Nemesis. I like to have that figure, but I snoozed on it and it was like, in... I missed out on it. But tidal wave looks good. He's basically the size he should have been when he, they made the original toy. He was a giant f character in the show. And he was just a little bit taller than Megatron when they released the, the original toy. Oh, so he's like, what, de Devastator size or that type of thing? or? Yeah, he, he is huge. But, uh... If I see him at the right price, I'll grab him. It's one of the ones I like. It's one of those ones I like to have, but I'm gonna wait for a sale price. Cause this thing is 220 bucks, oh, which is wow. not 
bad for the size figure it is, but I buy so much stuff and it's kind of yeah. <laughs> adds up. It's definitely an expensive habit to have. Yeah, when people like online were like, I've mentioned it before on on our toy talk, talks, is like where people were like, that uh, Haslab's too expensive for it to Omega Prime. No. It's like, and you're claiming to be a Transformers uh, collector. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's 250 for two Commander class figures, a deluxe. Uh, and they combine into one. No, you you'll pay two fifty for a, a, a fans toys Optimus Prime scale figure. So no, that's not too much if you're a Transformers fan. Now this one I'm looking forward to. I I love the Japanese Beast Wars series, both of them, uh, the uh, Beast Wars two uh, two and Beast Wars Neo. I don't understand. There we're getting figures of them now in America of Japanese only characters. Remaster the original anime, which somebody actually has done. I actually have a link on the, on the recommend link, links on the on my YouTube homepage. Uh -huh. uh, AI replay, I think his name is, if I remember correctly. He upscales and remasters old shows and uploads them on his YouTube channel. And he's got Beast Wars 2 and Neo on there. And it's like, do that, dub them, release them. Instead of spending money on these crappy cartoons we've been putting out right now. But this thing is, this is a commander class size figure. It is huge, which makes me hope in, have hopes they're going to do big convoy. Big Convoy, his alt mode was a woolly mammoth. Oh, jeez. Uh, in Japan, Optimus Prime is called Convoy. But we're getting Magmatron. I want Big Convoy. He's three, three dinosaurs. His alt mode is three different dinosaurs. Looks nice. It looks really nice. I'm... I'm I want. I got some pterosaur vibes off of that one. Yeah. Wait, go back to that other picture. That uh, reminds me of the human centipede. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> they stole the human centipede. Uh, yeah. Well, the human centipede. They, they got the idea from this. Well, I hope so. Yeah, because. Yeah. Nope. I will never use that mode. I will use either individual uh, dinosaur modes or his combined robot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm digging that. I got it on pre order. Thank you. Um, let's see, we got. Silverbolt, finally got pre-orders up for that. I got my Silverbolt pre-ordered, that multi-pack with the Wheeljack. Uh, I, got, I got those on order as well. So that, uh, if you go back, that uh, that small little, um, what is it, uh, Beast Machines uh, Cheetor. Man, they should have made that at least deluxe. Which They, they made a core class. I'm like, come on. It's Beast Machines, so I don't care. <laughs> I mean, Beast Machines wasn't bad. They had some good designs. The storyline for the show wasn't the best, but it was a sequel to Beast Wars, so I watched it nonetheless. But, I mean, I think they could have at least done de done them deluxe, at least. It was a sequel to Beast Wars. And, in fact, they said it's a good sequel to Beast Wars, even though they fired all the writers, didn't have the characters act like themselves. Well, I mean, the storyline was there. Made Cybertron <laughs> into a... It, it was, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't the best, but hey, I watched it nonetheless. Um, but the I boys, would, boys were pretty cool, though. I wouldn't mind a Black Arachnia Deluxe class from Beast Machines. That one, that one, I wouldn't mind at all. What I like, what kills me, like fact, it's a good figure. I like it. Is the Transmetal Two Megatron they made? 
Mm-hmm. Why didn't they use that as an excuse to make us a transmittal one megatron? Which we, they're all falling apart. They're, they're disintegrating. Yeah, we need one, and plus it would have been better scaled too. I want. I would love to have like a uh, transmittal to a one Optimus Primal and a transmittal one Megatron and transmittal Cheetor. Yep. No, I, I hear you. But definitely dig those. And here's the deluxe SX guns we were talking about before. Yeah. Th- these are the two packs, and this is. I think it's Chop Shop and Venom, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't it? Uh, it's not Venom. It's uh, what is the Venom is going to be the. The uh, Venom is the Cicada, I believe. Then okay, what are those two? I know one of them's Chop Shop. Trying to remember, yeah, Chop Shop's the red, uh, the uh, brown and orange. Chop Shop and Barrage. Barrage, there you go. Yeah, I, I was close. I have old man brain. I'm getting where I couldn't remember the name. I used to be able to name you every transformer out there. It's like Man, oh, you know, well, see. I used to be able to remember them all too. I'm, like, oh, I'm getting older, man. I don't remember all of them. I'm lucky I remember the main characters. Shit. <laughs> uh, this is another one, one of these things. It's like, why are these mixed uh, packaged together? I want this one, but I don't want this one. Yeah. No. See, I agree with you on that. I want the other one. I don't want this one. It's that one just that one reminds me of um, was it um? Oh my god, that big green guy from oh, the yeah. anime. Bulkhead, there you go. That's what it reminds me of. This is the bulkhead body for Legacy. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is his vil- this is his villain from the Transformers Prime series. And but he's with a teamed up with a G1 Decepticon. Well. It makes no sense why these two are boxed together. Who knows? To make you spend more, because you want to buy one of these. People want this, uh, Transformers Prime fans want this one. If you're a Transformers fan, period, you're going to want any of the new stuff, any unique stuff like that two-pack there. I mean, I don't necessarily need that two-pack because I'm happy with just the three Insecticons that I have. Um, But if they would have put those in black and purple to go along with the other Decepticons to make them look cohesive, then I I would probably buy them. But, I mean, I get different colors or whatever. That's fine. But if they would have looked more uniform with the original three Insecticons, I probably would have bought them. Which I, I always liked the original uh, Deluxe Insecticons back in the day, which I thought they were cool. Yeah, I love them. And I see nobody's ever tackled those with Masterpiece either. either. Well, we just recently got the uh, Battle ch- uh, Chargers. I've wanted those forever in Masterpiece. I got the little core class one of um, oh, nice. Bombshell. I found him in a box the other day. I was like, oh, man, I didn't know I had this guy. So... But I also have the deluxe versions as well. Which this box set's finally coming out, which is... I got, that's on order. I have it on order here. It, it's a this, nice box set, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this is the first time we're getting a reissue of the cassette player Soundwave. Which mm-hmm. It was a Walmart exclusive, and yep. uh, come to find out when they do these certain exclusives, they can't use those molds for so many years because that's part of the deal of being exclusive. Yeah, I was lucky I found one. I did too. I, I, I looked up and I got it and the, there was something wrong with the barcode. When I got home, I checked my receipt. They didn't charge me for it. <laughs> well, hey, good, good on you, my friend. I got yeah. home and was like, wait a minute. What but bill look here? Like the fact that you get that throne that came with the star screen, that it just, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. You get premium paint jobs on all three of these, too. Yes, they all look the really, really good. For the premium paint jobs and all the accessories. That Megatron's really clean, man. Looks really good. Yeah, no battle damage. He's still, he's, still, he's still the tank, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice clean shockwave, which what, what everybody wanted to do. The, the, the shockwave we have on this mold, the first one. It's got that battle damage war for Cybertron. I hate painted on battle damage on from the factory. Mm-hmm. Just give us a clean figure. I don't need you to do the battle damage. It looks no, terrible. I, I agree with you. Which what kills me? Or if we got the the horror cons, I got Eight Face and uh, and Snapdragon. Eight Face was part of the war for Cybertron, so he's got that stupid battle damage paint all over him. The Snapdragon was the next, uh, uh, I think, Earthrise. And he don't have battle damage on him. And they're a pair. So 
they don't look right when they're together. Yep. No, I hear you. But this is a great looking set. And yeah. For, for the money, you're getting the premium paint job. You're getting a figure. A face that, Megatron, man. The fact that it, the helmet and the face are two different colors. Yep. It, it just and he's got the that what I call that 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 eye those eyebrows those evil looking eyebrows or whatever you want to call it towards yeah. the top. That looks so good. Yeah, so he's good. gonna he's gonna have his uh, Megatron eyeliner. There you go. The I didn't want to say it. I, you know how we are in this day and age. You know. He, He's a transformer. <laughs> well, if you look at uh, <laughs> Megatrans, <laughs> mm-hmm. there, there's actually a, a comedy <laughs> thing. There's a video online. It's like, well, there's an made it video. It's like where he transforms. He's got boobs. <laughs> and he get demonetized, man. What? Language, language. <laughs> but the premium paint job. Is so nice when he's actually silver instead of just a flat gray, and it's, and it's painted silver. I love it. It looks great. They all look good. They all look. Good. Good. If you missed out on any of these, this would be the set to get. Yeah, I've got my yeah, I got my sound wave there. I love them in cassette mode or or tape mode or whatever you want to call them. Love it. Beautiful. Talking about uh, 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 Yolo Yolo Park. Oh God. We got. Oh, those are the bigger ones, right? Yep. Uh, oh my God. Jesus H. Christ. I'm going to have to. How tall is that? I think it's like a, uh, nine something inches tall. I think it's about the size of the Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, well, I'm glad much? I didn't get the other one. I guess I'll get down on that one. Oh, wow. It comes with a bunch of stuff. How much? Yeah. I think it's, it's only like. Hit me. Uh, let's see. I got. Where are we at? I got. Bomb bus B. Yolo. No, I don't want to sign in right now. Forty five dollars. Wise. Uh, well, you got to make me broke. And look at that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. He ain't looking. He, he bailed. He's like, I'm out. You got a action stand. You got his ion blaster. He's got Megatron in uh, gun mode. He's his axe. Look at that. How nice and clean that thing is. Of course, it is a non-transforming action figure, but it's a full-on action figure when it's done. It pretty. So it's like a model kit. Yep, it uh, comes In just like just right here. Definition of the term. It's fully painted. All you have to do is basically assemble it, like a bath. Yep. Right. It's like a bath. Is it multiple pieces? You just put it together. This is where you'll get it in the mail. And this packaging here. All this, uh, all these accessories. And this goes together. And they got a Megatron, an Optimus. And Are you looking at Shoji? That one was Bombus B. I was looking at Bombus B. You know, I don't collect Transformers. You know, I love Transformers. I just. I never got in on collecting them ever since I was a kid. Now, seeing stuff like this is just, you know, do we have to play the clip again? Well, that well there's a good, good size comparison. There's your Masterpiece Optimus Prime versus this. Yeah. yeah, see, this would be a nice figure to get if you just want a standalone Optimus Prime. Yep. Uh, well, I guess scale doesn't really matter because the Armada Prime isn't going to stand up next to the Ultra Magmus. The IDW Prime that I have, mm-hmm. he's gonna be shorter, so I don't guess really size is too big a problem for me anymore. This is this is a great uh, page to get transformer information from. When uh, he's been doing transformer news forever, <laughs> we get fans hobbies. 
Uh, double dealer, which looks really good. I have not gotten that one. It's like I've kind of like back on my masterpiece enough where, where I, I just kind of want I want to finish out the core characters. I want I want to finish out season one, season two, not season two, but season one, and cherry pick out of season two. I basically not. I don't want to do all the combiners. This I got the. Aerial bots, I got the Stunticons, I got the Destructicons. I don't really need any more. I got Omega Spring. And I'm trying to convince you. I'm not just trying to convince y'all, I'm trying to convince me. <laughs> well, you know me with, with Omega Supreme. Oh, this is the one I missed when it first came out. This is the Ghostbusters crossover. Oh, the Echo One, or yep, it's the Echo One, and you get a little Slimer with it comes with it too. Oh, <laughs> which what's cool? This Slimer looks like it's in scale. If you got the Hasbro six inch Ghostbusters uh, figures, yeah. you can actually put that with that. So now it's getting yeah. reissued. It's kind of tempting. And these are all up for pre-order right now on Big Bad Toy Store. The I've heard good things about the Soundwave uh, crossover with the GI Joe. Yes, uh, my customers at bottom here they they loved it. They thought it was great. Also, the His Tank Megatron and the Bumblebee uh, uh, Striker. I mean, they they loved them all, you know. But I mean, mm -hmm. get, I wonder what Optimus is going to be. Everybody's saying he might be the tank. I'm like, well. I think that's what they're, I think it was announced that he's going to be the Mobat. Is he? Yep. It's going to be interesting to see. I think there's some other stuff that they could have probably made him into, like Rolling, that, that Rolling Thunder would be a good one. That big ATV that they could have done, they could have made that one into him. Mm -hmm. But gentlemen, I'm getting ready to close up here. It's been fun, and I will see you tomorrow, Jared. You have a good have night. A good nice meeting you. Until friend. next time, my friends. Well, I'll see, see you a link tomorrow. <laughs> uh, this is the, a new Kickstarter coming out uh, that's out uh, live right now, the Galactic Valor. These yeah. the figures went up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah they look pretty cool. They're different than what everybody else is doing, too. I like it because it's, they're aliens, which it's, you, need, you need some aliens for your shelf, really. <laughs> well, you know, if anybody, you can go as you can go as crazy as to make it make a, a, a you know get a line of these and make them attack Earth and fight your GI Joes. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah. Isn't uh, Josh doing the soft goods for that? I don't know. I know one of them's got soft goods. Uh, I saw one for Cape. Yeah, that was the first one you shined up there. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, he's got the cape. I know one of one of the people in my little circle of uh, sewing people got that. I think it was Josh. I can't. I'm not sure though. What's his handle online? Uh, uh, Scott, Josh Scott, I think. They look good. Yeah. And to be a startup. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. That's not a bad price. Not at all. Are they uh, any idea? Are they true one twelve or? They they scale with like a Marvel Legends. Okay, so then then they're about six point five, right? Yep. That's good. They're smart. A lot of people know that Marvel Legends is like the main line that people. Here we go. And. The, you can't really go by this. The Marvel Legends they did here. That's that yeah. little teeny tiny Return of Marvel Legends figure. Wow. So it looks like it's around current Marvel Legends size. Yeah. Yeah, because judging by the Stormtrooper. Yep, which Although is, I do not like that Marvel Legend as a uh, Marvel Legend size comparison. No. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> do not. Yeah, I know. That, that was like the dark days. Yeah, that, that's after it's after the dark days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creeping into the light is still quite dark. 
<laughs> yeah, the light was the lights were still uh, off at this point. Yep. But, but no, these are cool. Did. These are these are cool looking. It's different, like you said. It's different. Not everybody needs to do the same thing, right? Exactly. You can get you a squad of these to be like some aliens, and you have like your uh, Marvel Cosmics fighting or something other. Like yeah, the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy be fighting against them. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Josh custom capes. Is you know what? The price is right, though. Oh yeah. This was Mattel really like. Oh, Bam! Yeah. We're we're they putting a lot. Yeah, they killed it. We're like, you want masters, uh, master universe? We'll give you some master universe. And they brought it. Oh, this. Man, man. We're getting another mo- uh, eighty-seven movie figure. Yeah, beast man. <laughs> it's a. F- Fan channel exclusive, which is kind of sucks. So that the, it's not going to be a retail figure, but at least we're getting them. But it might be something to do with the licensing, where because we're the movie license stuff. Yeah, but I dig it. I like it, and I got it pre-ordered. <laughs> I pre-ordered this too. We oh, get the yeah. Skeletor with the light up throne. I'm, I got. I kind of kind of got a similar setup sitting on my my, my classic shelf right now. If I'm using the old uh, Mephisto throne on a elevator platform, yeah, I'll just put this right there. No, this is badass. Which, I like that you got a spot for both of the staffs. Yep, and his bone throne, and this is this awesome piece right here that lights up lights up and we get a which the skeleton this is probably one of the best looking masterverse skeletors which but i'm not going to be using this on that, that figure on this throne i'm going to be using my classics one because, but i know you had to get the uh skeletor to get the throne you gotta get the skeletor which is fine you don't, you don't like skeletor oh i like it i just like classics better classics yeah. are just better looking figures I got a classic says Skeletor with the Alcala head, and so I already got a badass Skeletor. Yeah, this one, this one actually looks pretty good. I, actually, I, this and the other Skeletor that they're releasing looks really good. Mm-hmm. It looks like he might have new arms. They're not as ugly. I think they've improved on the arms probably with this with these new releases. Which is better, man. Those other arms are so odd. Yeah. But the details on this thing, it looks like there's a wash looking to the bones. Yeah. It, 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 it's a $70 set, but it's they made it where it's easy to get. It's not, not a Mattel Creations exclusive. or You can just straight up order this thing. And it's a beautiful set. If you don't have a good Skeletor, right there you go. It's such a badass setup. And you know what? You can even use it for other for other characters. Oh, you know what? Dude, so, an unhooded head. Yeah, yeah. It comes with the unhooded head. I remember I saw that yesterday. That's <laughs> that's so cool. I like it. I like it. I love you know, it. Oh, you know, the flames you know, light up different colors. Oh, wow. I didn't even know. But, I like uh, it. I love it. I want like some I said, more. If you don't, oh, yeah. If you, don't like, if you don't like Skeletor, if you don't like Master of the Universe, you just want to get a cool throne too, right? Yeah. With the details and light up features, you put, buy that on a third party. Uh, like a, a third party company would make that. It's going to be. It would cost you that much or more. Oh, yeah. And we get a new Hordak. Which, this uh, Masterverse. This is, a, I guess, this is the the new series one. The one that, because I got the other Hordak could come out, which is this more traditional look, is the blue, and he's got cybernetics and stuff. And uh, which line was this for? Uh, that one for the one you just that's, Mas- that's Masterverse. 
Oh, I didn't know that they even made a horror deck. They made one before, and now we got a new one coming out here. The, this is one I ordered. I didn't get the Hordak, but I ordered this because I missed the classics. The, uh, yeah, the. Hold on, JB. And, but, the, yeah, the, I missed out on Leech on Classics. And so, yeah, they I definitely want to give a, a leech. I just not crazy about the color scheme. I wish it was a darker green. Yeah. And JB, check, uh, check your uh, mess messages there on Facebook. You got your link. But I wish it was darker green to match his original look. But since I missed out on the classics, this is going to be the best stand-in. And we're, yes, Masterverse figures stand a little taller than uh, Master Universe classics. Yeah. But they're the monsters, characters, I don't mind it. it they, oh. they, they, you can work them in a little bit better. Well, same, way with, uh, same way with, like, Snout Spout. He's yeah. a bigger figure, but a freaking elephant dude. So uh, I think it's fine for him to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, you can fudge. And like you said, these monsters, guys, they they're not going to have human proportions, all of them. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I think I so think this that works. Would, that'll look good again, uh, uh, when you put it beside classics for sure. A little mm -hmm. bit more imposing. And I like the texture they get inside the the palms. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. I completely forgot what time it was. I lost the track of time today. That's all right. Well, this was an impromptu thing, too, since uh, we get the interview tomorrow. We can't do toy news, so. Oh, I know. I thought you were going to save that for next week. Like, oh, wait, he's going to save it all for next week. Let more toys build up. Make it three hours. Oh, it's, 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 there's too much to talk about. Uh, too much drops it and just let it sit for a week. It's, it's, uh, we that's got so true. much cool stuff. That's true. Now, this, I don't like. I do not like this. No. It's too ugly. Yeah, it is. A... Classics did it right. Origins did it right. Masterverse, no. This 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 looks terrible. They made the face look too human, and his colors are too metallic. The body looks fine, and the design, but it's the face. It, it just the whole thing. Maybe you put the mat. It's got a mask you put on it too. Yeah, probably. Oh, I just don't like it. I mean, I didn't pre-order it, so it looks better that way. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It kind of looks like Crimson Dynamo's mask. <laughs> it does. It's totally Crimson Dynamo. <laughs> Well, the face plates for Crimson Dynamo is exactly like that. <laughs> so it's a copy then, okay. And Mattel, do you hate your flagship character? Because you give He Man the ugliest heads. <laughs> Someone actually uh, did a comment of this figure when it was revealed and said, that's He-Man's face when Cringer takes a dump. Yeah, I would believe that. <laughs> but, but, oh, we got Darth in the house. I'm probably gonna. I've ordered this, but I'm probably gonna get a third-party head, a custom head for it. And I like Thunder Punch He-Man too, but I'm not ordering this because, damn, if that ain't an ugly head. I mean, I'm pretty content with my Origins Thunder Punch. And I got the Origins Thunder Punch, and I got the Classics Thunder Punch. I have the Vintage Thunder Punch as well. This one's the one on display, though. Is it just me, <laughs> that H look like Hordax's H? It does. Yeah. They, they've been pushing, like, trying to get by, get rid of the multi-cross on He-Man forever. You mm -hmm. know what? 
There's something else weird about this figure. Look at look at where the uh, the loin cloth ends on the side. His leg should be up in there, shouldn't it? You know what I'm trying to say. Um, his, his thigh should well, be higher up. Well, the proportions on Matt Burns figures are weird. But the it's it's more pronounced on the human characters. But their their human characters look like crap. But they get by with it with the monsters characters, cause yeah. I mean, I've got the 40th anniversary him right here, and his his legs don't go all the way up to the loin cloth. Uh, Darth, yes, that one, don't, that one don't neither. The one you guys that the that's the barbarian, ain't it? Viking, the Viking, yeah, yeah. I would say barbarian. I don't know why. It's neat little th- throwback, but but. Come on, Mattel. This is your flagship character. Quit hitting the He-Man with the ugly stick. <laughs> so, I like the ugly I, kid hit every branch on the way out. I, yeah. I guarantee you this one, unlike Origins, is not going to make the clicking sound like a punch. Because if you click this one to its side, it makes a clicking sound. I guarantee you this one's not going to do a thing. That is awful. Hmm. What is? Are you talking about this figure or the one we're looking on screen? Oh, the this one. On... Okay, I thought you. What I'm circling about... here. Okay, I thought you were talking about the one I had in my hand. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, I have no no connection to this. It's like, is that no Men in Arms? No Revelations yeah. cartoon. No Revelations cartoon from the last uh, season. Thunder Punch. Merman. These are all all versions. This is a new Eternia Merman. Hmm. Which is all right. It's which, like I said, the weird proportions work on these monsters characters. Yeah, uh, scrawny compared to. Yeah, these are how, uh, very articulated figures. <laughs> just ugly. <laughs> uh, Darth said, "Is this the five points of articulation?" Yeah, this no. is Patel, Darth. <laughs> this this no. looks. Cool. I dig this one. The armor helps hide a lot of the issues with the bodies. Mm-hmm. He's still got the weird uh, bicep. The cuts. He's too chubby. Which I like, I, that axe. I like the axe. I like the armor. It makes me wonder if, like, all that armor, will that armor come off and I can put it on an Origins figure? Well, not Origins, a uh, Classics figure. It will absolutely come off with some it, yeah, elbow it's, grease it's, and some. It looks like it is. Termination. Looks like it's like, for peace. But. Of course, you got the boots for peace, but I don't need that. Just I would be look interested in all this and that helmet going on a. You can put these heads on a, a classic figure too. Yeah. If you have a classic Skeletor, you, if anybody, you, I don't know what to go for now, but you still get that one with the Skeletor with the missing tooth from the uh, Molar two pack. Yeah, like, you still get that one pretty cheap. Put this head and helmet and gear on it, and there you go. I mean, you can also do that with Origins as well. Yeah. Yes, the yeah. articulation looks weird. <laughs> they never uh, it. it was crazy. These actually have less articulation, but I love them. The, I pre-ordered this pack. This is 30 bucks. You get Cringer and Prince Adam, and you get the, hey, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I pre-ordered this two pack the moment it became available. I like that he's giving everybody a thumbs up. Yeah. Well, that's what they all do. Where's my he man? Where's my he man at? Where's he at? Oh, here he is. What's I, going on? The worst. There you go. He disguise. He get he gives everybody a thumbs up. Yep. Hey. Actually, wait a minute. If you do both hands, I thought about this the other day. If you give him both hands. You can literally make him do Fonzie. Hey! <laughs> but the, the Filmation Origins figures, I'm digging these things. And, uh, this is really the first time we're getting cring- uh, Cringer as an articulated figure and, and not just like a little pack-in piece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of Battle Cats, but never a Cringer. Yep. Which what made would be uh, the Masterverse Battle Cat. Why he's got that goofy head? They're like, oh, you take the, the armor off. It's Cringer. It's a giant freaking tiger when he's in battle cat mode. 
And, Give him uh, a cringer head was stupid. <laughs> but see, that's what pisses me off is I wouldn't mind a, getting that one uh, even to take the armor off of it. You know how sometimes uh, you see Battle Cat and he's got no armor on. Yep. You, you know what yep. I mean? It's like, but no, if you take the armor off, now he just looks like a big dumb cringer. You know, like, yep. This side, this now, one's perfect. And I dig the uh, Skeletor shit. And if, um, Masterverse n- nails it with the vehicles, which I don't see why they couldn't do more vehicles and other stuff because this is these are big vehicles and they do them cheap. Uh, holds three figures. I know it's kind of simple, but wait, these I are or- origin scale or, or Masterverse scale? Origin scale. Oh, well, they gave Skeletor see the gold finish. And I like that. It's a nice touch. It's like. Yeah, yeah. Good. nice touch. Good. Which you, <laughs> a lot of the, the uh, when you stand up an origin figure up with it, don't do like the hunch like they did had. They are like a true six inch tall figure. Yeah. So you could fit some uh, Marvel Legends figures in, in the vehicles and stuff. And they do these things. I think this is what was well, this forty bucks. About forty, yeah. Plus the forty-five, I do believe. Well, the Stranger Things crossovers, I'm not really. Yeah. Is that Vegna? That looks like He Man's uh, had a bit uh, back from a bender. He's hungover. What the it's heck is wrong with that? Blood, but... His blood's been sucked. I like yeah. that shield. No now, I do like this. The Hordak. The uh, the red and black Horde Trooper. Horde Trooper, yeah. And we get some robots. Which, I think this is exclusive though, which is going to stink. It's going to suck. <laughs> Make a neck. Oh, uh, makes me... Went to, uh, Walmart, the, the Walmart Collector Con. The Origins figures they had for that sold out in like Two minutes or less. Um, I'm at, and what sucks, we're never going to get them again. Guys, they fixed that body issue. What are you talking about? Yeah, that, they didn't fix no body issue. Who, who is it? it? It was like, I can't remember his name, but it was in, or, in the classics, it was a con exclusive. Like I think it was a power con exclusive three pack. No, thank you. Oh, go back here. We're getting the cartoon evil in. Evelyn. Evelyn. <laughs> you know, oh, it was Evelyn. If you look at the prototype shot and then you look at the product shots, her eyes are painted different. Yeah. Go back. Go Ooh, back. I do not like those knees. Ben, go back to the product shot and you can see her eyes. Look at her eyes right there, and now if you go to the actual product shots, you can see her eyes are different. Look at them. Yep, they're better here. Yeah. I'm uh, wondering, is it going to be more like the prototype? Like, are they going to be like the one that shows? Well, this, is, this is probably hand-painted prototype, and these are the production figure uh, pieces. Probably. Yeah, Which is a lot cleaner paint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, dogs right staff. Horrible. yeah, them knees are trash. Yeah. Well, they're better than the 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 Gen One female figures in Origins were even worse. They oh, they, wow. they didn't. Have, you see how they got this uh, kneecap shape? They were there bad. You go. I got one right here. So they this is what good. they used to look like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were bad. Wow, that's horrible, man. Yeah. They were somebody so, in some boardroom somewhere looked at that and thought, "Yeah, ship it." So no, these it, are a huge improvement over top of those. No, it's terrible, and yeah, also, but they're still not good. It's terrible with these knees, but also this is the earlier release, like the first release, so the plastic's a bit wonky on the knees. So we're we're getting the filmation web store. Is that which, plug into the back of his head? Oh. What? That, that first picture, it looked like it was coming out of his head. 
Yeah. It does look like it's coming out of his head. <laughs> what is that? He's supposed to be coming out of his butt? But, uh, I had one, the original vintage toy. I remember playing a fat, like, stringing that line. And, and uh, same with, like, a trap jaw. You had to hold through it on the helmet. You'd feed a string through it and let them slide down the lines. Man, I had a little thing rigged up for my son for his toys. They get all zip line across his room and everything. They're good, going good, all in on Snake Man. I sound like a broken record, but I like that axe too. They ask you a question. I do not like that sword though. The 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 character design is wonky. So he's got flesh tones, green head, red tail. Seems like some yeah. soft goods I've made. It's like they could have decided. I, I think it's recreating like a, from like a, a mini comic or something like that. Character. I never have liked the filmation version of Clawful. That's Clawful. Which the filmation design for Clawful is awful. <laughs> what is the, that little gray thing on the left there? It's a horn. Yeah, uh, ask. Cartoon. Yeah. He blows in it. He blows. Yeah, he blows. <laughs> we got the spike or which he looks pretty good. Now, I don't know the name of this. I can't remember the name of this snake man, but it's a. Is it the same yeah. guy that the purple guy from earlier? No, this is a different snake man. <laughs> I mean, he's snake. Man. <laughs> uh, lots of them. Yeah. Oh, wonderful! Hey, oh, yeah. to ask. Yeah. That's a ninja turtle. This, right? I the ninja yeah, the Ninja Turtle crossovers. This I pre-ordered the moment it became available. I was not going to miss out on ordering my boy Michelangelo. One <laughs> turtle with a mullet. <laughs> I wasn't going to miss out on ordering him. He's wearing a He-Man wig. <laughs> yeah. Turtle with a mullet. Yeah. And yeah. Man wasn't Arch he the one that wore Batman's costume yeah. when that crossover happened? Uh, I did order the Skeletor. And is now that glow in the... Is that glow in the dark material? Because Mattel can actually do glow in the dark. It is glow in the dark. It is glow in the dark material. It'll glow. Unlike uh, McFarland's glow in the dark, which not so glow in the dark. Mm. I have a lot of problems judging uh, proportions, but man, these waists are killing me with how 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 thin they are. Uh, these are recreating like the the old vintage toys, so it makes a little more sense. Which. The only one uh, from the, the the turtle crossover ones I got ordered from this way was the Skeletor. Because it's a Skeletor variant. I gotta get. Well, which one's your favorite turtle? Michelangelo, come on, he's the best figure. Him and Casey Jones. You need to order those two. Look this at the is size a of the sword. Holy! So that's a that is a big sword. It looks like a, a giant sigh. Yeah. It's it's a reuse from the Raphael figure. Oh, I have a giant sigh for all this too. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's reused. It's a reused part. Now, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I lied. I ordered Casey Jones. I knew you would. I had to get, I mean, it's not funny. nothing for nothing. Look at him. Yeah, that's actually cool. Hey, is that the Infinity Gauntlet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jutsu's uh, glove. Maybe. Oh, okay. So it's the Infinity Gauntlet. You just got to paint it. He's got some um, <laughs> metal uh, gig. House guard, shin guard, and he's got the Jusu's glove. I guess be like he that. inevitable. Yeah. So, which, what's your favorite uh, turtle? My favorite turtle is Raph. Leonardo. Yeah. Donatello. I like there. the new uh, Leo. I think Tom likes Leonardo the best. Yep. The stealth He Man uh, He-Man's not bad. It's the same head, though. That would be so much better if it wasn't plastic. Same head. Yeah, it's the same vintage head mold they've been using. <laughs> I know. It is. It actually, it actually looks painted better, though. It might look painted oh. better. Same head, regardless. Well, that April being sorceress is kind of, eh. I like the Hordak, too. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. And I forgot to I order that. Like I mean, design best it hasn't become available yet to pre-order. 
Okay. I was going to say, I forgot to order that one. So cool. No, it, him in April, and he's not available yet to pre-order as of right now. They'll be available sometime next month, I believe. That's cool. <laughs> we got the Herman with the, the kale pizza. Did you watch She-Ra? She-Ra, She-Ra. Yeah, that Netflix show. Oh, no. I watched the real one. I yeah, didn't. I'll tell you right now, if you like Hardak, that is the best version of Hordak I've ever seen. No, that show. <clears throat> you lie. He was a he was a scrawny goth kid. <laughs> kid. <laughs> but he's like the only adult in the room. All this other crap is going on, and he's just like, "What the fuck is going on?" And he's just you know trying to do. A to B, and all these whack ass kids are running around. The reason part of her tale for that, the it's got a different end piece, of course, where it's got the more fish tail. But the from the waist to the articulation point is Lady Slither's tail. Oh, I was you're you're looking for a snake uh, bottom end for a certain custom in the future, weren't you? Yeah. I guess I get He Man out of the way. I forgot he was there. You know, not nothing for nothing, but this is not a bad He Man toy. Mm -hmm. Which one? The Viking? Yeah. The Viking one, yeah. Yeah, Viking's good. I got the Viking one, but I got the. I, I, I used the, the unmasked Viking head after I, I shaved the jawline properly. They, they screwed up. It's, it's he man, so they got to screw the heads up. They put the jawline straight back, so it looks like he's got a f fat head. So if you, but you shave it to like where it curves up like a natural jaw, like man, this guy like, needs a giant sigh as well. What the crap? Uh, Fangor. Yeah, uh, I got. No. I got this just uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. I got two of them. It's still in the box over here. Yeah, I still got the packaging for this guy. I've just never. It's the, that's the most swole uh, splinter ever. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, We're going to be teaching some martial arts today. He's supposed uh, to. We're going to do. Uh, we're going over here. Woo! I think Splinter's been saying his prayers and eating his vitamins. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you there, Name of Hill. That the, the Fisto glove would make more sense. But hey, I got the Mr. T and I got extra gloves, so that'll work. The gold glove. I pity the fool. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, Splinter is apparently He Man. <laughs> oh, no, he's King Gray Skull. Is who he's supposed to be. Oh, okay. King Gray Skull. Got it. With the, yeah. the furry cape. He's supposed to be King Gray Skull, is who he's supposed to be. It works. I wish the body was bulkier. Mm -hmm. These are two really brutish guys. That thin waist just don't work. Actually, one buddy of mine said that they should have a wider range of articulation so you can punch, so they can punch each other. Whenever you go to the attorney, you get, you get ripped. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> What you gonna do, brother? But that's a lot of cool stuff coming out from the Masterverse. And everything, just about everything's up for pre order, too. Since you, I got my pre order at Big Bad Toy Store for Beastman. I ordered some stuff from Entertainment Earth. I can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of debating. However, that the uh, throne is by far the coolest thing. This is in stock. Um, yes. I mean, this look, it looks better than the first release. I have the first release Revelation C, man. This looks a lot better compared to oh, that. Yeah. The other one looks like he has liver damage, too. His yeah. Skin, his skin's yellow. Yeah. But, I, but I'm more content with the 40 years is what I prefer, even though people hated the head. Yes. Yeah. Knockoff Pit figure is now up for pre order in Baghdad Toy Store. You can get them naked for fifty five ninety nine. Hey, naked. 
but see what well, well, this makes more sense for me because I'm not gonna. Hey Don, can I mail you this? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Sew some clothes on them. I will uh, easily. I even have the blue jean material sitting right there. And then I'll have a nice little template for that other guy that we have in common. Yeah. Well, he don't he don't actually wear blue jeans. His pants should be black. Oh. Well, we're in luck. I have a lot of black too. That that's uh, one of the things they're doing by the like not to do it's not pit. So they give him blue jeans and, a, and like some kind of corduroy looking jacket. <laughs> it's a leather jacket. They should have just got with the creator and got permission to make it. Like, so oh, absolutely. Cause then they could have made the face right because he's got. They took the literal. He don't have a nose too literally. It looks like somebody just cut his nose off. Mm -hmm. And he's got elf ears. I know we was talking about this not too long ago. You yep. said sand down, take sand down the ears and reconstruct his nose. Well, you just want to sculpt over it and then just smooth it out because Pitt has no nose whatsoever. There's nothing here. I know. I was saying reconstruct because it sounds cooler than saying, oh, you build his nose, put clay on his face. $56 for those big big bucks. It's worth it that just to buy the bodies. You can get red or gray. You get them naked. Which... Just, make, just make sure your wife don't know what you're doing with it. <laughs> you might want to make absolutely sure she does know what you're doing with it. <laughs> She'd probably be like, honey, what are you doing with a naked toy? It's like, I'm sorry. Well, comes the one thing I'm doing is minding my own business, woman. Getting it in. Yeah, ab absolutely name failed. They should have licensed the figure. They should have. Still but, uh, they probably couldn't. That's the reason they didn't. Del Kion, you know, he's not doing a lot of work anymore, and they could have went to him. How much was Del Kion going to charge him a license for? I don't think he would have charged much. I don't know how uh, Blues Collector got Matt Wagner to sign up. He is extraordinarily picky about that stuff. Matt Wagner. Uh, for, Grindle. for who? Grindle. Oh, Grindle. Okay. <laughs> but, but $56 for these big giant bucks, and they're huge. They're taller than their jack uh, T Rexes that they made. What? Uh, did, did we get a. a there was, they, they haven't showed uh, uh, against other figures, have they? Just other their own their stuff. Own? Yeah. Um, they should let's see X Toys. They get the, the big dinosaurs. They show it next to one of these. And it's taller than this. Mm. This is 10.7 inches tall. And that pit is bigger. But, or pit KO or whatever. So, not that, so that not pit's probably going to be about the size of the uh, Marvel Select Hulk then. Probably. Yeah. These th these things are huge. I've been tempted to get one of these right here, but I'm tempted to get that. Uh, but you know what, though, I was just gonna make my own. Well, we both plan on doing that, right? Well, it's got all the the hands we need too, though. <laughs> yeah. I'd say I'd say you're probably better off just getting it and then fixing the little mistakes that need to be fixed, and then getting the soft goods. I think, you know, the best bets get this and custom soft goods. Yeah. That way they can look exactly how you want them to look. Yep. Exactly. I mean, look. <clears throat> I already got it. Yep, Victory Leo said he's got... Oh, there you go. Got the plaid. I already got it. Got Victory Leo pit, uh, pit coming, uh, comic coming out. That's awesome. See, he, he would... Totally would have uh, backed in like he allowed a license for it. And, heck, that'd be like a advertisement for his new book, too. True. Yeah. That's what's got me torn. It's like, yes, I want this. It looks good. <laughs> I 
I kind of want a few of them just because they look like they good, they're good giant blanks uh, for uh, hulking characters. Yeah. That don't the price, look like the Hulk, right? Right. You know, so... I, well, heck, I would buy this if they do it in green and make some Hulks out of it, too. I like oh. proportions. Yeah. We don't get Ooh. big biceps on a lot of Hulk figures. Yeah, and dude, that butterfly joints, too, with that. They did do green. They do this in green. Um, right now we got gray. You can do a gray Hulk, red Hulk, <laughs> pretty easily. Oh, he's green. Yep. Yeah. And he's massive. Yeah. Yep. He's flexing. <laughs> you guys look at the Star Wars stuff that was revealed. Any pre-orders of that? Uh, not yet. Not was yet. It from, from the Acolyte uh, movie? No. Um, they just revealed a uh, Clone Trooper and Battle Droid 2-pack and then a Luke Skywalker four, comic 4-pack. Four we, we are getting reissues of these figures. The... Um, the Deadpool and the, that Wolverine that used to sell for big money. I bet yeah, everybody's like, Amazon exclusive. Yep, Amazon exclusives getting a reissue. Which has been several years. It's probably like they, they got like we were talking about earlier. Like Hasbro's going to wait so many years before they can reuse a reissue. Yeah. And how many years ago was that? That came out when Logan came out or something like that. Yeah, same time as the Logan and the the X Men. Uh, was it the a uh, cable, uh, what's her name? Domino from the movie. Yep. And speak. Oh yeah, uh, that body would be good for uh, Buffer Joe Fix It. Get some soft goods done for it. A uh, suit. There's actually three differences with the Wolverine they release. This Wolverine though they revealed. He is tank top. Is got a more tint of yellow. And his head sculpt is not from the X Men films; it's from the origin movie, which is the leather jacket. No, that's yeah. the same one. No, it was different. I get I, that. Just, I have it right here. <laughs> no. Yep. I got it. Yeah, but it's, it's a custom soft goods jacket. It's yeah, the that's the or that yeah, this that's the origins head on this body. I'm saying it's not the same head that was on the Amazon exclusive one. It was a totally different head. Oh I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did put this head on there. Yeah, the Amazon exclusive one had from the uh first three X Men films. Yeah, the the heads weren't as nice as these. But um it also does not come with bone claws while that first release did. Yeah. And I know why they, they're releasing this because actually because we remember at the end of Deadpool 2 when he traveled, he actually seen Hugh Jamin's Wolverine from this film, so that's why they're doing this look. That's the only reason why they're doing it. Well, there might be money too. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get the Deadpool and Wolverine from the new film out. Oh, we will. Uh Oh, that's 100% coming. Yeah, I remember I got the first release Deadpool 2 figure. I got that from uh, 10 bucks over LexingCon when I went earlier this month. I'm definitely uh, probably end up getting these two just for the heck of it. Just... I, I, got the, I, I got the Wolverine, uh, the... the... I'm sorry, the Deadpool 2 pack with uh, Negasonic, and I bought it from Walmart, and they sent me two. So, <laughs> I, ended up, me well, I ended up two. Yeah. I ended up two because my first Deadpool, the they had glue on the ab crunch. I think it was stuck. And I contacted them and said, oh, you can just keep that one, and they sent me the other one. And I was using like, nail polish and like, it was brake bubble, like, the remover and Get the glue unstuck. 
And so I got, and after I that, I cleaned it up, did a wash on that one where it looks really good. You can't even see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one didn't have a problem with it. It's just he didn't come with the unicorn and he and the guns. I've not taken out of the holsters yet. So well, there you go. Hey, I wonder if they fixed the holsters on this one. Are they no, they did. To... They fixed them. Yeah, they fixed it. Are they going to have it glued in on this one? No, they're removable. They're separate. See? Yeah. That makes makes me want this one a little more because because <laughs> your guns all got always had some damage on them when you took them out. Mm -hmm. Got all gunked up. It's the like idiots glued the freaking guns in place. I don't get that. Yep. You may order the shield three pack. I did. No. No. If it ain't Iron Man or Skeleton, you know what? I'm getting it because we have not got a Nick Fury senior figure in a long time. Like, it's it, been 12, 12, 14, almost 14 years since we had one. The last one was from the Mandroid Bill Figure Wave. I know. Glenn Webb did a review of it years ago. And, uh, yep. you, you know what? I, I, I can appreciate this pack because a lot of people will probably even army build again for shield agents and stuff like that but you want to know something the thing with they did it again with dum dum honestly i think dum dum should be a bigger guy yeah well what you could do is actually keep your nick fury so this is on the vulcan body so yeah. it's it's a lot bigger than your other shield shield troopers yeah because it's on the bucky cap and uh, just have this be you can be uh, Nick Fury Jr. Who's actually I guess he is, I think he is a little bit taller than his dad. Because I'm using for my Nick Fury. I, I repainted one of the heads that came with at the. I bought several of those uh, original Nick Fury figure come out where you can actually be like a troop builder where he's got the helmet head, the helmet head, and the no. You had, you know, let's see, no, you had a helmet head, that weird guy with the like the, the Dragon Ball Scouter. With the little um, Ranger Finder thing, a little. Yeah. It's a Dragon Ball Scouter. That's what, that's what it is. It was meant to be a. It's meant to be a scope for shooting. It's a Dragon Ball Scouter. I don't care what it is, but it's. it's I'm telling you what it is through. I don't care. It's a Dragon Ball Scouter. All right then. So, it came with the Nick Fury head, that that weird guy head, and it came with the. Uh, the helmet. The gas mask looking uh, helmet. Yeah. yeah. Agent head. Storm, oh, like yeah. almost like a storm, like a stormtrooper head. Yeah. So, you can. I use the ones Nick Fury heads and the the black suit at Game Reverse Captain America. Yeah. I put that on that, so I have a tactically dressed Nick Fury. That's a good idea. He looks. That head looks so good on that body. I but, actually, I actually mentioned uh, Bobby Bella wants to make a Nick Fury like this, like Nick Fury Senior. These will be replaced. Mm -hmm. These are stupid. Why in the world is she wearing like orthopedic shoes? <laughs> you know, if uh, Valiverse just made like a Hasselhoff look-alike head instead of no. Nick Fury, everybody would be down. I mean, that, that would be down for it. a Hoff Fury. They're ma they're making a. He's making a figure like sort of like Nick Fury. He's got a cigar and everything. He just doesn't have an eye patch. So you could put this uh, Nick Fury senior head on that body and make him like as a regular citizen. I don't. I don't get about the shoes. I don't either. like her. I don't like her face decos. Her face looks fine, at least with the hair down one. No, they look awful. Jared, you just got to <laughs> women's looks now. Now we know. <laughs> I think I'm passing on this whole this whole three pack. I, I ordered this three pack. I ordered it with the the Skeletor throne, so I got free shipped on Entertainment Earth. Uh, I mean, if you really, I mean, most people are mainly getting it for Dum Dum Dugan and Nate Fury. We know that. I could see some people wait for scalpers to get all this and then sell the figures separately. But so, look at that. Why? I know. Why? Why does she have? She's wearing all black. black. She's wearing orthopedic shoes. 
It almost looks like Crocs, too. They do. From here, like from this angle that I'm looking at, this one here looks like a Croc. They look like combat boots, but they're cut off. Which doesn't make no sense. You know, no. at this point here, you know what would be a good idea? Where uh, is the manager? I want to talk to the manager. Uh, you know what? It's not a good These Are, are these pinless legs? They yeah. are. I was going to say, you know what would have been a good idea if they weren't, is if you had that first uh, Yelena Belova from the movie, the white, all in white, she had those cool looking boots. She so wants to be been, <laughs> Well, it's reusing, the, uh, it's reusing the Black Widow uh, Target exclusive body, but they reused her feet. So that's why it's black and looks like that. Well, they, they, they've told that everything's in the same mold, though. Like they would have had a I know, but but you're asking about the feet. They reused the Black Widow's feet. That's why. They didn't change it. Well, they can. They no, can. no, Black Widow's got flat feet. She got flat. She's got flat feet. Flat feet. The, the, the feet on this one have actually have uh, texture like boot treads. The Articulate Black Widow doesn't have that. I know, Jerry. I was just trying to confuse you. <laughs> The he's got butterfly joints. You got the double uh, bicep swivels, double joint elbows. So, so it's a it is the same figure except for the, sh the feet. They decided to give her some combat boots, cut off to be look like orthopedic shoes. And she seriously wants to go talk to the manager. <laughs> look at these stupid shoes. They're like they're like. At least painted the ankles black to match the rest of the boot. And it's not comic accurate. She never wore black shoes with the white outfit. They wanted to change it. <laughs> She's wearing Skechers. Just watch. They're going to reissue this figure again, but make it accurate to how he should, how she should look. Which I've, I've got one of these on the ship. Well, for a long time, I used um, that first. Uh, Sam Jackson, Nick Fury head, and I put it on the Commander Rogers because he wore the Commander Rogers outfit for a while in the comics. Marcus Johnson. Yeah. AKA Nick Fury Jr. There's his old man, which will be more than likely be way out of his, of his display in this figure. Well, hey now. Is this a new torso or? It's re. I it's reusing the Renew Your Vows body. No, it's not. You sure? Or it might not be. No, wait, I see an ab crunch it's, there. It's, but... it's Vulcan. It is Vulcan, yeah. But we got a zipper down the middle. So this might be a new sculpted torso. Hmm. Hopefully it's not. The, uh, this is Vulcan, and it's not. Okay. No, it is Vulcan. It is. The yes. Torso. It is. It's Vulcan. They just sculpted the zipper on there. We got the zipper down through here. Because the uh, Astonishing Cyclops. It looked like Vulcan, but it's not Vulcan. It's actually shorter. Okay. Now it makes me want to see Dum Dum. I don't think they got... I don't I know if they got any product shots of him besides this. I was hoping his hat would have been removable. Like they could have, like you could have removed his bowler hat. That's, you got the super sculpt. Because I mean, both Nick Fury. Okay, they both have it. They both they both come with alternate heads, and Dugan doesn't come with nothing. So I was like, well, at least maybe they would have at least allowed us to remove his hat, so we at least he comes with something. If you're well, on it head, just chest well, head, right? Yeah, I don't. The just harness is removable, but I don't. I hate they. Uh, it's the gun is part of the harness. It's not a removable piece. But his, his harness is different than uh, uh, Fury's, right? Yeah. No, they're the same. It's no, you're right. You're right. They're, they're different. Right. Yeah. He's got. He's got a double double one. I guess that sets Fury uh, different from the from the other troops troopers, yep. right? Well, one thing was, I was kind of disappointed when they did the live stream when they were talking about this set. They're like, oh, Dum Dum's on a bigger body than Nick. And now they're on the same body. Why did you uh, say that he's on a bigger body? 
Uh, he should have been on a bigger body. Actually, his torso is bigger than than Fury's. It's the same torso, it's the same sculpt. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you got the same zipper sculpt on, on both of them. It's, they're both using the same bodies. It, you just got different harnesses. You know what, though? Even if it was, it shouldn't be that, that subtle of a difference. It should be a big difference. You should notice that it's a different body. You, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. If if I was gonna if I was gonna make a dum dum, I would have made a more barrel shaped. He looks like one of those big beer drinking guys. You, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like. Well, uh, here's the artwork right here. You can see he's he's built like a power lifter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why not put him on like a? You, you know what would have been a good body for him is uh, uh what we'll called bazooka. That would have been a good body. Yeah. How yeah, about the? But they don't yeah. ever cross over GI Joes with the uh, legend stuff. Yeah, a body like I that would have been. Yeah, that body like that would have made more sense. Yeah, that would have been. Uh, th- he should be more barrel shaped, in my opinion. He he, he needs to be bigger. That that set is seventy five bucks, which is twenty five dollars a figure. That, that's one thing that annoys me. Back when they first come out with the concept of two packs, they would actually lower. They make it like a value. Say if you're a $20 figure, $20 figure, when you get a two-pack, they used to do like $35 for the two-pack because you're buying two figures. Now it's like, well, there are three figures, $25, $25, $25. So that's a $75 set. Yeah. That's like, I mean, I ordered this on... The whole point of a multi-pack is you're supposed to get a discount buying more. <laughs> they'll, they'll give you a discount if you're like, Close to over a hundred, over seventy dollars on Hasbro, they'll give you a free shipping. But that's about it. Uh, Spiro Toys, they, they on their Animal Origin Kingdom, their Kickstarter is doing really well. They unlocked uh, Series Two Jessa. Uh, she looks really cool, like a cheetah speedster. Mm-hmm. Alternate head. This is really cool set. These the figures are just so cool. <laughs> I, I ordered this. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Name of Hills, right? Three pack should have been seventy bucks tops. Should have been like sixty nine ninety nine for the three pack. That way, you it feels like you're getting a more value. You're getting a three. Pack. They're just you know, greedy. You guys in the U.S. are lucky <laughs> because those three packs are going to be at Ross and and Ollie's uh, in no time. But that three pack should have been seventy dollars at max. Yep, I ordered this. You've been, you've been talking about order for weeks, Jared. I I knew we knew he was going to. So as soon as it's going to unlock, I, t- I said I was going to order this, and it unlocked, and I ordered it. And every time something on the Kickstarter unlocks, it goes up for pre order in Big Bad Toy Store. Mm-hmm. That's where I ordered mine at, and I found out too. Like, uh, every like every week they update uh, Big Bad Toy Store like like every week or so they'll update the Kickstarter with their orders like how many stuff they sell they'll put the orders in on onto the Kickstarter which is great uh, there so it keeps updating the the uh, the Kickstarter helping to unlock more stuff yeah but a, a I bull- want the Mamba bull- I'm sorry Hawk Spanish what I was just saying a bulldog. That, that's just so cool. Oh, we men Hulk smash and pictures uh, reels of bulldogs to each other all the time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's like, my favorite dog. Now they're making an anthropomorphic bulldog figure. Figure, or I'm gonna take the armor off mine when I get it. Yeah, I just wish the ears were yeah. a little bit more rose shaped. Yeah, they will. They will do uh, if it goes farther which it will you're going to do head packs for the bulldogs so you'll get like snarling heads different poses and stuff you could probably take the armor off jared and put it in like some leather clothing or leather or a trench coat and give it sunglasses the bulldog yeah i'm just get, i'm just trying to give you a look idea for that bulldog of yours these are the other two ordered this is so dinosaur. It looks like Genghis Rex. Uh, I dig this. I pre- 
Now, the Elephant Man's not unlocked yet. It, it, they got a ways for it to unlock it. They basically got to double their sales right now to unlock the elf, uh, Mamba. So that, that thing's going to be pretty big, right? It's over 10 inches tall. Oh, nice. And we get alternate head for this. So it's, this is like a troop builder, so you can actually buy multiples and get different heads. Same way with the, the red one. We'll look at the Kickstarter in a second. We're getting a new Popeye from Mesco. Uh, is it new or is it a reissue? Uh, is it a reissue? They've done it. They've done Popeye twice. They did a single card release. A couple it is a reissue. Yeah, they did a they did a single card release a couple of years ago, and then they did a two pack one, and then now they're doing this one. Wasn't that with Bluto? Yes. There's Bluto. Mm -hmm. But they've done two versions of Popeye. This is their third. And here's the Star Wars for celebration and stuff. The... And... Four packs, four tent. I don't think I've seen most of these. They popped up yesterday or earlier today. I don't follow Star Wars that much anymore. He's, ta he's taking a dump on a droid. Yeah, he's just sitting on him. I could see a lot of people buying this pack just to get a droid and clone army. I got well, you, Yeah, you can buy a lot of these and troop build it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I pre-ordered, and I actually got free shipping with it. Yeah, Are the Mars Jade figure was hard to get, so they're getting, it's a reissue, and you're getting like one of the better loops too. Big Bad Twister still has the original Mars Jade. Oh, did he? Yeah, I didn't know they did. Yeah, who 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 was that? The, the last uh, picture you just said. Sorry, the the bearded guy. Uh, I don't know. Is that? <laughs> His name's on the back of the packaging. They they put his name on there on the packaging pictures. Right there. Uh, that oh. name right there. Jora Joris. And it's so, Luke. So why do yeah, we have Luke, Luke and Luke? Yeah, this is, is the story of Luke and his evil clone. And that guy creates creates basically what how the story goes is this older guy right here. He caught Luke's hand that Vader cut off in Empire Strikes Back, so he cloned Luke. Oh, what'd he do with his hand? <laughs> <laughs> he just cat he just got the hand and cloned Luke. It's in the co it's a comic you can actually find online to read for free. But I I pre ordered this set. I like and I that Luke like that. the head sculpt is new on the old Luke figure, but the body is reused. What was you gonna say, uh, Dom? I kind of like that that uh, that evil Luke right there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like. It. You, could, it's a bulkier body too. It can work for like a Padawan uh, Anakin. That's actually reusing the Obi Wan body, the Obi Wan body, the Legend uh, Obi Wan body. I do believe that was Walmart. Yeah, school. it looks like it. We get some. Uh, we saw these two the week before, but it's the Spider Man. Yeah. It's new. Uh, these shoulders are ridiculously bad. I know. We talked how they should have sunk the shoulders and the body more, or or at least bring the butt, or at least bring the butterfly joints out more to cover that gap. You know what, man? I'm not. I'm not impressed with this uh, Soldier Boy at all. He mm. should. He should be a little bit stockier. Yep, um, he he really got jacked for that role too. Yeah, you know, if you if you go back to that last picture, uh, the deep looks like he's got boobs. Yes, it does. Okay, like that that this is this is crazy. Like me, if you're gonna be spending this this type of money on figures, you gotta be on the ball, man. Like I mean, I wish somebody else gets the the license to these boys' figures or even Invincible. Like I mean, I want some 
quality, like good quality figures for those lines, though. I mean, naked them, the, the naked ones are better, but they're just seven inch scale. Yeah, the so licenses that's, that's are better. I mean, Figma also has the license to the boys as well. Figma does. Which, which, one thing is weird. Uh, what they should do is like had a, one of these companies doing the comic book version of the boys. Have the somebody doing the TV show boys, the new comic book version of the boys. Because maybe you seen that first release, Homelander from Apex. That one looked that one looked really really great. Yes, yeah. I like. But that. I don't know if I'm spoiled or what, but. I just think that body's way too skinny, scrawny for twenty ninety nine. I think so too. I, it's I agree. Re, it's a reuse. I don't even think it looks right. It's a reused buck. It's reused of the uh, Scarlet Spider. Well, it's a new torso, new arms, because all that sculpted detail. Yeah. They pro yeah. they probably went in and modified the digital sculpt, but it is all this. Uh, this is all sculpted. Arguably my favorite Spider-Man costume, definitely in the top three. And I don't know, I would love to have it, but it's just too scrawny. So yeah. we are. Let's see it hit refresh. I've been at, I've been selling my Mayfexes. I'm out of them. I like but, I like Mayfex figures. Don't get me wrong, but they're just like it's like you buy them and you pose them and you don't I want to kick on that. I, tomorrow, I gotta ask uh, Jace. Uh, Jeremy is like, "Is are those eyes posable? They look like these eyes should move. They should move. I, I'm almost positive he said they would. Yeah, they're currently at two hundred nine thousand. Don't need. Uh, Mayfex is smarter than Marvel Legends. Yes, they are. Yep. We got. Well, they didn't start out that way. No." Corvaeus, cold blooded. The Grish. I pre ordered him. And you get an alternate snake head, mm -hmm. which makes this tempting to buy to, to make, uh, put on my class, uh, Mar uh, Master Universe Classics as Snake Men show, uh, soldiers. You said tempting, so you could order it now and cancel it later. Eh. Oh, let's say I would cancel. I'm just thinking about it right now. <laughs> those snake heads look really nice because this is a new addition because they unlocked. So they actually updated their like pictures here to have this the alternate heads. They do look good, the snake heads. You get the cold blooded weapons. I ordered these and I ordered this guy. And you get the this is the, the helmeted head. So like I say, you could buy a bunch of these and put those helmet heads on there and be a troop builder right there. Have one without the helmet and several with the helmet. helmet. So it's that one, the bulldog, and the elephant is the one you're really after, Jared? The Well, I like all these reptilian guys. So Okay, okay. Those are the first ones I ordered before the bulldog was even unlocked. Mm -hmm. But... But that, the snake head, head sculpts look really good. Mm -hmm. and we got the Hannibal, King, uh, King Hannibal, Conley Prime, the Brute. I think I might order the Crusher we uh, weapons too. Let's look see. If this was a must get. Get Grimes. Yeah, I'm tempted. Bone Crusher heads, which we'll, when this unlocks, we'll get a head for the head for all three of these. And they get the, the new females are really nice too. The sculpts, articulation's good. My hope is this isn't like oh you back it, but then it takes them a year or so to get the product out. Oh, they're, 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 as soon as this ends they're, they're in production okay they they, they are being split up into waves because the ninety nine thousand dollars doesn't actually cover the to what they what their goal was that actually doesn't cover all the tooling for this okay um tooling 
for a figure can run you know, anywhere between thirty-five, forty, fifty thousand dollars for one figure. Mm -hmm. And they've got four new body types in this Kickstarter. So that's because there there has though been a lot of companies like Hasbro Mattel that have delayed figures for a year. Or if you look at Metacom mm -hmm. Apex, they delay their figures yearly. Like they, get, they got this run like a uh, a smooth. Uh, the, they got the, all the kinks knocked out of this. They got the, they, their product man their their product manager used to work for Hasbro. They got a hell of a team put together for this uh, this company. They're a small company, but they got a great team. They got their sculptors work for has uh, all the big companies work for Hasbro. Their their product man uh, the the, the uh, developer manager like used to work for Hasbro, so they know all the details and stuff. They got a good factory. The figures are really good quality. That's like Four Horsemen for the Cosmic and Mythic Legion stuff. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of teams from Hasbro and Mattel that work over there as well. They got their boon. It's, it's you got sword and sorcery and science fiction all mixed into one. It's kind of neat. A really cool storylines for this stuff. Mm -hmm. And this unlocks at two twenty. This is going to be the next unlock. It's get, what was it the two oh nine? So they got eleven thousand for the un, uh, unlock this one. The alternate heads at two thirty. This is going to be a if you go, do the all in, you get the spectral pale. This is also going to be when they go to the cons and stuff. It's only going to be a, no. This won't go up for order for Big Bad Toy Store or any other stores that's that selling Amores of Kingdom. Either get to, you do the all in on this this, or you can get it at a com uh, a convention. At 260, we're getting bird people. So, my dog, I'm afraid my dogs will attack these. <laughs> she likes to, uh, er, uh, and reminds me, of, uh, she killed a robin the other day. I gotta clean it up. <laughs> and uh, we're getting some, uh, this is a necromancer they're gonna be doing. This will this be up Don's alley here. Is Don still in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. And we get more avion lock and locks. At 380, we get the big Brut Brutox. Hmm. I want him to make him hang out with my Bruton. <laughs> I, I, I was looking at the Kickstarter, and apparently I'd already pledged to buy one. But uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I want two. But I, since I'm already down for one, I can change it later. Yep. And at 410... We get the beast, Mamba. Well, their their first Kickstarter, I think, ended at like three eighty, so it's possible. And uh, and uh, they do, do after after the campaign ends. They they they, uh, they have a, like a sales period afterwards too, which helps them get uh, get some more money to unlock more stuff. But imagine if the elephant's trunk was uh, bendy wire. I'd be curious to see how they do the. Uh, the only thing about that is how well it's going to hold up over time. That's true. Bendy wire is really cool, like they'll feature, but when things start to wear out, they'll start fraying and like the plastic breaks down. But you That's know true. what though, the uh, you know how the the trunk has usually has those lines. They can they can make almost like little joints. Uh, you know, like picture picture a uh, like a connected uh, diaphragm, jo like a connected joint together in the trunk. Yeah, like a diaphragm, uh, and like how GI Joe has a diaphragm in the waist. Like picture or, that, yeah, like, or or like or like this. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would work too. Let's segment it. And these are like, hand and swivels like wrist. Each of these joints. Well, yeah, th this is what I mean, though. It's like you can do that with the lines of a of, a, of an elephant's trunk. So, yeah. 
especially if he's that big. Yeah, he's going to be huge. I'm curious to see how they. That'd be a question to ask him. Like, if they're going to do any kind of imposability on that note. On the. That is a good question to ask. Honestly, yeah. I think they can do it. And. Uh, Did I miss anything? I think you covered it all. Oh, we got a change. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to talk about Funko Pops. No, I don't talk about trash. <laughs> oh, it's forty-five bucks for the for the airship. Oh. Last thing that I, I got up, I figure one of the last thing we can do is look at a few customs. Sure. <laughs> we get a uh, Trinity for uh, somebody's uh, Trinity sets Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, which I got that Wonder Woman right here. I mentioned the opener up. You should. She's a great figure. Wait, what's what scale are these figures? Those are uh, those are uh, John Omer's figures from McFarlane. Oh. Seven inches tall. They're oh, they scale over your Marvel Legends. She's taller than Superman. She is. You know what? Honestly, I, I don't know what it's going to take for somebody to actually to actually make a, a damn DC line in six inch to go with your Marvel Legends. That's only, nice. Somebody made a really nice Damien. Cool. This is really cool. Yeah. The only, the only company I was going to say that did that was Mattel, and Todd's supposed to lose a license in 2026 is when the license goes to expire. So I don't know if he's going to renew it again. He might not. So yeah, as long as he's making money off it, he'll he'll renew it. Probably. Just, yeah. They they put too much trust in them. They gave them DC Direct access to DC Direct to their molds and their factories and stuff, so I don't see them you know, taking it away from Todd. I could see but, Todd changing it from 7 inches to 6 inches if the community would set would demand that more. No. he Todd ain't going to do nothing no. that... He won't. I, I know we've talked about this before, but can another line do 6 inch figures for, for DC and not affect... They don't... There's no... no uh, what do they call it? Master license anymore for DC. That's why you got two, two companies making DC figures right now. You got the uh, the kids line. I forget who. Spin Master. The Spin Master. And you got the uh, adult collector line, That's which is what McFarlane's doing. Well, Medicom also has the DC license as well. True. Well, that's the imports. Import. They've always been have like separate imports, but in the United States, there's uh, you got the master li uh Used to be there's a master license. One person can only only one company can do DC figures in the United States. So now it's been broken up where they can yeah. actually split it out. So a, a company like Jada can 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 uh, negotiate plans to make a six inch line. Possibly. I would not mind seeing Jada tackle DC figures. Oh, they would kill it. Oh yeah. I'll tell I would you, doing, love to see Jada get DC. They're doing um, food and food products. And I actually asked a friend of mine, I said, it would be kind of cool if they actually did a Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. Yeah, Pepsi Man. I would love to see that figure be made. Okay, you, you, know, <sighs> you know what you line of? Picture this as a toy line. All the big... Uh, all the big fast food chains like you got a Ronald McDonald, like a cool Ronald McDonald, like a war a wartime one against a Burger King, against a Wendy's, against and then you can have a a, a Colonel Sanders. You know what I mean? That would have, mm -hmm. have, have them so all with accessories and stuff like that. Now, Ooh. question: Would you buy it in a bundle as a pack, or would you buy, or would you want to be separate? Oh no! If you're gonna buy, my, you you you're in for the whole for the whole shebang. Oh, this is cool. One Oak Customs did a venomized uh, lizard. Nice. That's using the Game Reverse Abomination body. Such a great body. Yep. That, it seems like a no-brainer. Like the custom I made with uh, with the classic head on it. 
they could do as a deluxe figure and give us new sets of hands, do a classic uh, head and a couple, maybe like two, uh, alternate head sculpt. Uh -huh. And they could really have it as a deluxe figure and people would buy it in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. That's a nice looking bike somebody made. <laughs> the modeler must be really good. That's looks like it might be partly 3D printed, or at least the main area is 3D printed. Oh, that's made by our friend Cannon. Because uh, wow. uh, I, I painted it. And then, Jared, don't tell me everything. <laughs> that's a. Uh, Cannon did an amazing job of modeling and printing this thing. Yeah. It, looks, it does. I need to get you your swing arm melt, do you? I got it. I, I wrapped it up in bubble wrap and I put it in that, that Snake Eyes box. And I wrapped the Snake Eyes box in bubble wrap and I need to get it shipped up to you. You can send it in a mailer envelope. <laughs> get, so it don't get stomped. Yeah, it's be sure to throw fragile on it. Yep. One of the better uh, figures that McFarland's done is like the. But mine had an issue where the legs were to A stance. So they had like a running change, apparently, that fixed that. The legs wouldn't go together. So it was always like this. Mm -hmm. I fixed mine. mine. Mine will stand straight now. Yeah, I can finally say that uh, after getting uh, getting my balls broken last week, uh, I finally posted on Instagram, everyone. <laughs> I saw that, and it's awesome. That maestro looks so good. I'm going to have to send, Don, I'm going to have to send you mine so you can make me, you can just sold mine into the pants, uh, pants into it. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what, Don? You, oh, you, that my... Thing, that, Oh wow, Mike Customs he's churns out, out a ton of these. He must do the commission thing, and he's got so many She Hulks. Wow, she looks great. All of them do. Yeah, Don. You know what, man? That Maestro. It now it looks like Maestro. You know. Yeah, I appreciate the kind words. It looks that good. Was, using uh, sewing the leather boot pieces onto the legs that that's worked out perfect. Actually, no, they're not sewed. Oh, they're not. No, no, I, I, I they came separate. I put them all. I put it all together. Well, this is another uh, Exodus. That's a character. Of, Hasbro should bake instead of all these Wolverine two packs. Instead of all these extra Wolverines we're getting, I know it's 50th anniversary of Wolverine and all, but <laughs> hey, we'd like to have more characters than just hey, it's another Wolverine. I know. The question is though, the question is though, would people actually buy it though? Yes, X Men characters are very popular. Okay, they sell out. All, people, all the, all people the are characters. people are sick of the Wolverines. We've gotten too many Wolverines. People are only buying those Wolverine two packs. To get the other figure that's coming with it, with yeah, it, with the exception of maybe Patch, because he's such a unique version. Like, which, which Patch will be in Deadpool three? Did we? Did we really need uh, like uh, what's it called? Another cowboy hat? Uh, I don't know, the, which is the one that, that comes with? Uh, Logan and Saber Tooth Two Pack. Jared reviewed it not too long yeah. ago. I, I don't haven't reviewed the Saber Tooth one yet. No, no, I'm not. The, uh, it's the the Cowboy Wolverine comes with Saber Tooth. The yeah. the one that is the most least desirable one is the one in the ninja black ninja outfit we've gotten before that comes with yeah. the Mandarin lock. But I did not order that set because. I have no connection to that for uh, Psylocke was the Mandarin, and I, I and that's the goofiest damn outfit that Wolverine's worn. Uh, at least they didn't do the painting stockings over his eyes this time. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ordering that for sure. But uh, 
I would have bought. That comes with two different cowboy hat colors. Now, if even though I don't give a crap about that, that version of uh, Psylocke, if you put Exodus in that two pack, I would have bought it. Because I wanted an Exodus. I mean, the way they're using more than the new 97 X-Men cartoon, we could see more X-Men characters like a regular Psylocke and stuff show up in the way, in the line. Which, they'll probably end up using that horrible body they use for Psylocke all the time, because they need to stop. They got those really nice bodies. She should be on well, the hyper-articulated body, so. but they need a new torso without the zipper and stuff. <laughs> and the cleavage line. Mm-hmm. But... The, oh, about, uh, the body they uh, use for Psylocke is probably one of their worst bodies they have. When I bought the uh, Nimrod Phantom X Psylocke three pack, mm-hmm. I mainly bought it because I wanted to see. Hopefully, they well, I want the Nimrod. That's the main thing. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, Phantom X was a bonus. Psylocke was a piece of crap. I actually had to rebuild her. Yeah, you know what, though? Uh, they could put her on the Shriek body, right? Oh, yeah. Shriek, oh, Shriek body would be fine. if they. But for Psylocke, I would like to see them do on the hyper-articulated body with the, uh, the upside-down rib crunch. Because she needs... She's an acrobatic character who would benefit from that more articulated body which I rebuilt her on a street body for the X-Force one I just painted her shoulders I didn't do the, the weird things on her legs so I just left her most her a black body suit the stealth look so that's all I needed yeah. well, guys, we do need a Marvelous Capcom 2 Psylocke that'd be nice yes sir Oh, that's cool. Custom Batman figures and custom boxes. This would be if Hasbro got the license. Uh, what could have been? Mm-hmm. Yep. We got uh, something who wrong said the word. Wait, who did that set, Jared? That Batman set. That is... True Grit Customs. Follow True. him. I thought I was... Okay. Let's check out his other stuff. That is a nice red hood. That is sweet. Was that Harvey Bullock there? I think it was. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That Batman, though, he's got too, does look really nice as well. The Batman. Or a body they, for him. Are those new articulate Spider-Man uh, really any good? They're... If you have the retro card of Spider-Man, the only articulation they have above that one is toe hinges. And it's pinless. <clears throat> it's pinless, too. But, the, but the, with articulation, though, the only difference is the toe hinges. Mm-hmm. He's actually a little bit bigger, bulkier than the retro card. I actually, proportion wise, I like retro card better. So, which Spider Man is this that, that he's that he's asking about? I, I would assume the you're talking about like the renew your vows, the hyper articulated, which the Ben Riley's on that body. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think with, he's. I think he's talking about that wave right there with the Spider Man, the new ones like the, the um, Ben Parker Spider Man and stuff. That's what he's talking about. I do believe. So what would you say then? You, you think you think they renew your uh, your vows, uh, Spider Man? Uh, you like the retro card body better than the renew your uh, your vows? Other than other than having pen the pen showing on that one. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's asking that. He said yes. Okay. I, just, I don't mind the pins. I got both of them right here beside each other if you want to make it, my big, Jared. You can see how much bulkier 
where your mouth is. Yeah, you can see the arms are different. They're not the same arms. His thick yeah. uh, chest is thicker. His arms are bigger. He's mm-hmm. taller. Yeah. So, for Spider Man, I like the retro card body better. I do too. I like this. I like this color of blue, but I wish the red was brighter. Because I think if you if they put it this color red on this Spider Man, it would have been a definite purchase. Yeah. I would like to see them do the retro card at one, even with the pins, mm-hmm. with black instead of blue. Like his original Spider Man's costume originally was red and black. Mm-hmm. Like this was the one problem everybody had with it was red pins inside the arms where yeah. it's supposed to be blue. If you make that flip that around and make that a black outfit, black and red outfit, and make those pins black, the outer pin is so small you wouldn't even notice it. You mean like an Alex Ross Spider Man? His original costume was red and black. Oh, I know. I've got that one. Let's see. I've got it. Yeah, you remember that old Toy Biz uh, uh, Sentinel Wave? They've got it right here. There you go. Yeah. But I just don't like that body much. He's smaller. Well, it's supposed to be him. <clears throat> it's supposed to be him in high school. That's why he's smaller. Right. That's just what I want a Spider Man. I want. I don't want him as an adult. I don't want him as a, a teenager. Well, the problem is they make him either an adult or they make him a teenager. They can never do in between. Okay. But I mean, what, they're both. I mean, they're what both. What is both. what is in between a teenager and adult? A young man. <laughs> Uh, is it a teenager, a young man? Makes <laughs> uh, it slow. Yeah, the this one's on the Renew Your Vows body, which mm-hmm. it kind of works for Scarlet Spider since he's all solid red, but he's going to be tall. Really, oh. if you took off the yeah. um, if you took off the feet, that's separate. You take that off. And you trim it down, you sand it down, or the bottom of his ankle, or the bottom of his legs, where the boot is. If you sand it, you can make him smaller. Oh, we got a, a suited body to Scarlet Spider right there. Cloth Goods body. What am I doing a giveaway? Perfect. That's awesome. Really like that. that looks neat. Honestly, to me, a lot of people would prefer that over the uh, the, vi- the the rubber piece, anyways. That's oh, yeah. a pizza. Yeah, the pizza spotty looks good once you put a soft goods over top of it. Mm-hmm. It bolts it out. But, uh, uh, but I think that's uh, do this for tonight. I wouldn't. Uh, something long said he'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> My son has already summoned me twice. Mm. Uh, Pixel Classic, hello, hello, sir. When a kid calls, you must answer. <laughs> well, I mean, he's only well, nine, so. Uh, name of Hell, that, uh, the Scarlet Spider that uh, Don made, that is on the Pizza Spotty. Uh, he's done so many, like, body suits on this Pizza sp- uh, Spotty. Spider, spider Shot is on the, uh, not the Renew Your Vows, but the one right before it. Mm-hmm. It has the uh, reverse torso, the, the upside down butterfly with the. Yeah, but he doesn't have the toe articulation. This one's got the toe articulation, though. The scarlet. Now that one right there, I'm not sure it's renew your vows because once you pull that vest off of him, that chest looks like a uh, fire. Well, they oh, is it you got an neck? Nap- no, it's got an upside down neck crunch. Yeah, I bet what they what they did they does. used the retro, they used the retro card at uh, torso. If you're because looking, it's, because it's smaller, and the new pinless arms and legs. I pulled the 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 thing off of him and was gonna put my own uh, sweatshirt on him. Hmm. And I'm the thing I I couldn't. It just the way the the muscle muscles are sculpted in there. It looks just like that the Sunfire body. Now that. So that that's, that's what the, down. that's the retro card torso then. 
The retro card torso looks like Sunfire, but with a diaphragm and the upside down ab crunch. So, I mean, I, I love the figure. It's it's which makes sense since they're doing the rubber overlay. They want to use a smaller torso. I do. I really like the figure. I just can't stand the drop down hips. They uh, they vex me. I mean, Mattel did that with their Ultimate Edition figures. They've been introducing drop down hips, and most people, whenever they used it, it would break on them. Oh, there. They got drop down hips on this guy. Wait. You better be careful because those will break. <laughs> there you go. I keep when it comes to drop down hits, Mattel does not have good quality control with that part. No. Oh, my hip. <laughs> but yeah, that's oh, spider. That's highly sought after right now. And, and it's very uh, sought after by the scalpers right now. Like this guy, he does have the drop down hips, but I'm not going to pull him down because I don't want it. This is the one that people said would break a lot. The rock. Do it. Do it. Do yeah. it now. Mm -hmm. Do it now. This was the Target exclusive <laughs> Ultimate Edition Legend. Legend. Rock. That sounds like quitter talk. Move him. Move him. Drop down hips. <laughs> I mean, I could, but they're stuck. I think the problem is Mattel. Uh, it won't be on, it won't be stuck if you break them off. Come on. <laughs> I ain't breaking this thing. This thing's pricey, man. Pricey. If I try, if I try, if I break this and have to get another one, I'd do it in the aftermarket. I have to give a kidney for it. Hey, if you're scared, say you're scared. No. Uh, something said so the Mattel must have just started the drop down hips on their ultimate ultimate line. Uh, yeah, the earlier Ultimates didn't have drop-down hips. Uh, of course, they would actually still mix in some Elite parts. The Kane that I reviewed on the channel way back when, mm -hmm. he the only thing new was the upper body. The legs were reuse mm -hmm. from a, which was annoying because you had the nice sculpted like stitching and stuff from the upper torso they put on the on it, uh, but on the lower body. It's smooth. They're all the stitching, like the cross stitch, it's all painted on. It's smooth texture. It's like, mm -hmm. You're charging a premium for your ultimate cane, but you're not doing a all new sculpt. But Undertaker got an all new body. That's right. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. I'll see you yeah. on the next one, right? Well, we're going to bring right. it right you, though. Have you a good have, one, Don. Yeah. It's good to see you as always, Don. Take uh, care, buddy. Holds. Hope you guys have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. All right. See you. I'm not sure who you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jace. <laughs> uh, something one, I feel like WWE, Mattel has the best drop down hips ever. The worst uh, ones I've ever dealt with is G.I. Joe line. They go straight to Y joints. Yeah, the original, the first few waves of their drop down hips was awful. Just loose messes nonstop. Uh, don't need drop down hips if you have enough clearance. That is true too. I, mm -hmm. The drop down hips on the GI Joes is pointless because you get the rubber overlay on the waist piece. It's mm -hmm. a redundant joint because you don't need it. Oh, I know. Yeah. I hate it because when I bought Flint the first time I got him, his his hips were loose. Like I had to do a lot of surgery just to get his hips to stop being so loose. Yeah. Alrighty, I think that's going to do this for the night. And tomorrow night, we're going to have the team from Spiro Toys on. We're just going to be really good to see on the Collector Fusion. Uh, oh, how are the Mayflex hip joints uh, with the soft undies? Uh, they're not have, bad. They're I not have, bad. I have Batman, Hush, Batman, Superman. They're not too bad at all, really. But... Uh, but uh, yeah, come come by and check us out tomorrow night. We're going to have uh, the Spiro team on. which is going to be talking about this Animal Warriors of the King Kingdom or AWOC. Yeah, so it's going to be a really cool show. And we'll catch y'all tomorrow. And we'll catch y'all next time. Take care, guys. Take care. <laughs>